All right, hello guys, it's me, Clock, and we're playing Where Winter Crows Go, a visual novel that I played the demo of like a year ago. Um, and if you saw the demo or saw it, anything earlier, uh, well, you'll know what this game is about. But until then, it's going to be a little secret. Hey there, Snowflake. Before we begin the story, I'd like to ask you a couple of questions. Oh my god, there's actual player art now? Would you like to play as Aspen, the canon protagonist, or would you rather self-insert? If you choose to play as Aspen, the pronouns will be set to they, them, and their sprite will be shown next to the text box whenever they're talking or thinking. So which option do you prefer? Uh, we'll play as Aspen. We'll play as Aspen, yeah. You've chosen to play as Aspen. Sorry. If, if, I would, if it just let me name them, I'd be happy, but... Can't wait to meet you, Aspen. If it let me play as them and st just rename them, I would have preferred that the most, but it's okay. <laughs> we don't have that. Are you sure? Are you sure? What do you what do people just say your name all the time? Only? They never refer to you as a he, they, her, nothing. You don't use pronouns at all? Are you sure about that? I'd like to say we all do. But I, I get it. Some people are really stupid. That's true. The road is quiet. No real sound can be hard, heard except for the humming of my four-wheeled companion. What? <laughs> no sign from any other cars in hours. Not even a motorbike. The frosty air is so prominent I can feel it pierce through the window's glass. Bless whoever invented car heaters. Hmm. Man and female. Hmm. Uh, well, that's that's good. I think there's more, but maybe you need to open your worldview a little bit more. Huh. <sighs> I don't know why I suddenly grabbed my backpack for a one-week trip to Frost Peak Town. I mean, I know it's supposedly famous for skiing or whatever, but it's literally in the middle of nowhere. What am I, a teenager hungry for a thrill? Who am I kidding? I know exactly why I'm doing this. Fuck my work. Fuck my boss. Fuck society. True, true, and true. They can burn each other for all I care. I'm not usually this impulsive. But winter sports might be just what I need to take my mind off things. What? No one's going to take me away from my well-earned break. No one. What the heck? In the middle of my venting session, a crow flies right in front of the windshield. Ah! Bro. D bruh. Although I nearly lose control, I managed to get a firm hold of the steering wheel. Thank God. Damn bird. Is it suicidal or what? It nearly killed me. Well, you should have killed it. I'm just gonna say this now, guys. Unfortunately, you gotta you gotta hit the animal. Unfortunately, mo majority of the time you cannot swerve. You gotta go straight at it, okay? That's just the way it is. Whatever, I'll just Huh? The car seems weirdly off balance all of a sudden. Really? Now? Here? Shit. Shit. Yeah, unless it's a moose, because the moose is not going to buckle. The moose is not going to move. Well, you don't always have a ditch. Majority of the time, if you're seeing a moose, there is no ditch. There's just trees left and right. So, mm, it's better not to hit the moose, though. You're correct. In Canada... You just die. <laughs> you just you just die. <laughs> you just fucking die in Canada, actually. If you hit a deer in Canada, you most likely will die. Uh, uh, because the deer will smash through your windshield. So, once again, bigger animals, not great. Moose will just fucking not care. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but smaller animals, you just have to not care. God damn, Herbie. You're looking a little flat over there. And your parent is so irresponsible that they forgot to bring your spare tire. I take my phone from my pants pocket. Worse. A moose is worse than a brick wall. You know why? Because a moose has horns. A moose, a moose has horns. And a brick wall? You can break through a brick wall. Chance, you might, you, you might survive a brick wall. Moose ain't, you ain't surviving hitting a moose. Unless you're driving like a fucking monster truck. <laughs> no reception. What is this game about? 
So, we're playing Aspen here. And they are driving to go snowboarding or play winter sports. I'll say snowboarding to make it easy. And uh, my car is crashed. So, we're going to need some help. And we're going to meet someone. And they could be really nice to us. And uh, maybe we'll never want to leave them again. No one is going to take away your well-earned break, huh, Aspen? Well, a stupid crow just fucking did. I kicked the snow. <sighs> as much as complaining feels good to get your frustrations out of your chest, it's not going to solve anything. Time to explore the wondrous world of Winter Wonderland. I actually love exploring winter stuff. It's great. It's one of the few nice things. Right. Now, where would I go if my car had a problem? A gas station. Yeah, if only. There's literally nothing here. Nothing but snow and big-ass trees. Well, that's a good sign, though, that some of them have been chopped. That's a good sign. Frost Peak Town should be somewhere around this area, though. I just need to keep walking. At least the view is pretty. True. Bro? Bro, you should have stayed on the road. Why did you get off the road? Why was your first thought, oh man, my car broke down. I better go wander in the fucking woods? Excuse me? Imagine explaining to your insurance that you crashed because of a crow. Oh, wait, this is beautiful. What the fuck? Well, the trees changed. Look at this. This is beautiful. This isn't a visual novel. I guess that's some progress. The others were pines, right? Not sure about these ones, though. This is a nice fucking, fucking game. Let me go into Canadian wilderness with the fucking wolves. True? Yeah, you're going to meet some wolves real fast. <laughs> oh, lovely. Don't worry, guys. The wolves are scared of you, okay? Unless you walk near their, uh, near their den. Then, then you're fucked. Then you're fucked. <laughs> but still, how come I haven't seen a single person or animal throughout my entire hike? And that's only if... You survive just the hunger, you know? Because uh, Canadian woods up north, it's like a tundra out there, man. And it's pretty hard to survive. You need less drought out there. Don't bears usually live here? Not that I'd want to meet one. Hope I don't find one of their dens while they're hibernating. Oh, you'd be fine. If it was hibernating, you'd be fine. I'm surprised I didn't see any deer either. Considering there was a sign and all. Uh, it's very unlikely. Is it me, or is it getting colder? Unless you're, like, really deep in the woods. Guess I'll keep walking. Pretty rare. It's still pretty rare. Like, some maybe rarely you might see a deer, like, grazing. Okay, nah. It's definitely colder now. I'm gonna- I'm imagining this is in Canada, by the way, now. This is Canada. I don't even care. I'm ready to die. My hands feel like ice cubes, and of course, I had to forget my fucking gl- Aspen! You're hurting me! Aspen, you're killing me, man. You're killing me, bro. You're killing me. Putting them in my pockets does nothing either. No shit. Ugh. God, Aspen. Sure enough, the freezing weather brings out the first snowflakes of the day. They fall slowly, light, slowly yet relentlessly, and I can't resist the urge to catch a few with my tongue. No, it's the first trap! Aspen, you can't eat snow! It's a terrible idea, Aspen. It's a terrible idea. I wish they tasted like something. They taste like piss. You're eating piss. You're eating piss, and now you're wasting your body's heat. Oh, God. Plot armor. Ugh. Usually, I don't mind snow. It's undeniable that the tiny ice crystals are very pretty. Especially when it's sunny. It's as if everything is glistening. Don't do that. Also, every... Aspen, you're doing everything wrong. Aspen, don't stare at the snow when it's sunny. You go blind. Ah! Dude, not to mention, snow has a strange way of making you feel nostalgic, even if you've never seen it before. Ah, he's dehydrating. It's okay. Yep, I definitely don't mind it. You could even say I like it. When I know I'm not at risk of getting hypothermia, that is. What's next? A snowstorm? <laughs> Whoosh. Ah, well, that's just common sense. Great. This is common sense. You don't ask for that shit, man. Is... That, a uh, huh. Maybe whoever li- Wait, what did he say? A log cabin? Maybe whoever lives there can help me. Or not. I'm having such bad luck today that I wouldn't be surprised if it was abandoned. Snow blindness is a real thing. It's very dangerous. Happens to a lot of new Canadians. 
I bet it can protect me from the snow, though. I hope. Just, just know that, like, if you see that you ever see those like weird goggles with the little slits, the like the two like the little tiny slits to see through. That's for fighting. Like that's for snow blindness. Like that's to fight against it. Never mind. I don't want to be alone in the cold. Let me see another human being. Go 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 go. Knock on the murderer lodge. The murder lodge. Hello. It is. Is anyone in there? I mean, has anyone seen Cabin in the Woods? Come on. Come on. We all know what's going to happen in the Cabin in the Woods. Please. I need help. No answer. Maybe they didn't hear me? Please! Let me in! My car got a flat tire and I have nowhere to go. Can you help me? Please! There's a murderer in that game. There's just a murderer. Straight, straight up. My hands are numb and have turned a deep shade of purple. And I'm on my knees. My body's shivering so violently, I can barely stand. Sorry, sorry, I had to sing that little quote. What? Fucking hell, it's so cold. Oh, he's unlocking the door? Pog? The front door starts unlocking? Help! What, he splash water on my face? Day one. What, he punch me out, bro? Please, not naked in the cage. Please don't wake up naked in the cage. Please. Please. Uh, oh, no. Oh. I wake up in an unfamiliar room. Where am I? Is this inside the log cabin? Oh, okay. Nice bed with a bunny picture. Okay, that's pretty nice, actually. I must have passed out. What time is it? Did I sleep the whole night? Out of habit, I touch my pants pocket to take out my phone. What the? Only to find I'm wearing an entirely new outfit. I was naked! He fucking undressed me! Oh no, it's worse than I thought. He drugged us. Chloroformed us. Huh, I guess whoever helped me out must have changed my clothes. They even bandaged my hands. Ugh, ugh, not good. <laughs> this is not good, chat. I should go find them. At least we're not tied to the bed, I guess. I got diddled? I think you're right. Wow, this cabin is bigger than it looks. How many rooms does it even have? The door at the far back must be the entrance. I hear a bit of noise from the room on the right. Is that where the person help who helped me is? Then again, I don't know who they are. What if it's someone dangerous? Well, you'll find out if that door is locked. Well, not like I have the keys anyways. I should meet them before drawing my conclusion. Also, they did help me, so they can't be that bad. Horror game main characters must be rubbing off on me. Oh. Alright. Sure. Sure! Let's go with that again. Let's jinx ourselves again, main character. I'm sure it won't go wrong. When I enter the, when I enter the room, I find myself in a small yet cozy kitchen. And then I see him. <gasps> a green-haired man who appears to be of an average stature, wearing a lab coat and... Washing the dishes? Green hair. That's kind of anticlimactic. Huh? Oh, his vo he's voice acted! Perfect. Shit. I said that out loud. And now he's staring at me. Ah! Uh, Bijou, Mike? Is that who that is? I don't know. I don't know who that is. Abort! Abort mission! Maybe if I'm quick enough, I can escape through the window. Oh, it's not voice acted. Oh, hey! You woke up! The man either chooses to ignore my slip-up or doesn't really care. Yo, he's got patches. Wait, he's got patches on his... Are you you live in a nice log cabin, but yet your lab coat is patched with not white. Which I feel like would have been extremely easy to find like a white shirt or something to get patches for, but okay. After removing his cleaning gloves, he takes a few steps my way and stops right in front of me. I was actually about to check up on you after cleaning up. How do you feel? <laughs> no! <laughs> Chat, he could be a murderer for all we know. You can't smash him yet. Uh. Oh, wait, can I, can I save? Yes, the first save of the game. Uh, I'm okay, I'm feeling great, I'm fine, but you shouldn't have changed my clothes. Yeah, you shouldn't have changed my clothes, bro. I'm fine, but I don't think you should have changed my clothes. Uh. Oh, God, I'm so sorry about that. N normally, I would have asked for permission, but you just had, you just passed out and it was an emergency. Was it really? Was it really an emergency? Did you just want to see some... Did you just want to see my, uh... My junk? 
Just wanted to see Aspen's junk, huh? You just wanted to know? You, you really curious about it? Come on now. Come on now. Take me out to dinner first. Come on, I deserve that. I deserve some chocolates and flowers, okay? He's got a point. I hate to admit it, but if he hadn't helped me, I'd be counting worms. I'd rather be counting worms right now. No, you're right. I'm sorry. Oh, we gotta change- Don't worry about it. I'm just glad you're okay. Okay, also, I forgot to change the title of the stream. Uh, where... Winter Crows go... Playthrough... Full game... Release... Let's go! Get a Yandir boyfriend... And not die. Wow, what a title. They don't have a category for this? They don't have a category for this. Alright, well, games and demos! Alright, sorry about that, chat. I just had to, uh, sorry, YouTube, too. I just had to change the category on Twitch and the title of the stream. Don't worry about it. I'm just glad you're okay. He's kind of cute, not gonna lie. You know, dude, he's even got a fang. He's got the anime girl fang. Nice. Uh, if you don't mind my asking, can you tell me what happened? How did you get caught in the snowstorm? Oh, right. What can I say? A stupid crow scared the hell out of me while I was driving. My car got a flat tire as a result. Uh. I see. That's quite unfortunate. Bro? Did I say something weird? He's like, crows don't exist. Crows are a lie. A figment of your imagination, chat. Um, anyway. I thought I'd ask for help, but you're literally the first person I've seen in this whole area. Which reminds me. I don't think we've introduced ourselves yet, right? <laughs> Why is he s <gasps> My name? <laughs> what? Uh, true. Does he need to pee or something? <laughs> Why is he so nervous? True. Aspen? At least your social your social awareness is pretty good. Now I'm getting nervous. I better get introductions out of the way. I'm Aspen. Oh, what a pretty name. I'm Crow. This is Crow, everybody. Shake hands. Crow with an E. You should have specified that, bro. Seriously? <laughs> no wonder you made a weird face. But don't worry. I only meant the animal. Besides, I doubt anyone who has a job that requires wearing a lab coat is actually stupid. Well, mostly anyway. Not that he needs to know that. He's like, this coat, I got this at Walmart on sale for like 10 bucks as a kid. It was a part of a Halloween costume, actually. <laughs> we just have schizophrenia. Yeah, I'm not real. Well, mostly anyway. Not that he needs to know that. Uh... I know, I know. I just wasn't expecting to hear my name in quite that manner. <laughs> I bet. In any case, it's nice to meet you, Crow. <laughs> Pleasure is all mine. This guy is so nice. I could ask him if he knows how far I am from Frost Peak Town. Wouldn't be good to overstay my welcome after all. Can I ask you something? Uh, where are my manners? I still haven't offered you anything to drink. Oh, it's okay. I, I don't want to impose. Nonsense. I finally have a guest. Finally. I'll go ahead and prepare some chaga tea. It's very good for the cold weather. Th thank you. I have no idea what Chaga is, but it seems he knows- he seems to know what he's talking about, so... Would you like something to eat as well? Don't be shy now. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Not true! Not true, guys. We've actually found out breakfast is not the most important meal of the day. Come on now. Uh... Oh, wait. Uh, let's save again, I guess? I don't know if these saves matter. Actually, breakfast sounds wonderful. You sure you don't mind? I'd rather not eat. Nah, breakfast sounds wonderful. Excellent. Excellent. Listen to streaming class. No, don't do it. Focus on class. Hey, chill out. Chill out. None of that stuff in chat, okay? 
Seriously, I will ban you if you start being... N none of that stuff, okay? And I'm talking about your message, Hungary Ball. None of that. None of that stuff. Even if it is just joking. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. <laughs> My pleasure. It's been a while since I last cooked for someone, so I'm excited to know what you think. Aw, that's really sweet of him. <laughs> can't wait. By the way, is there anything you can't eat? Uh, good thing. It, it wasn't the fanboy stuff. It was just, like, just the question itself. The first part. I know he got rid of the A, so, on purpose. That's, like, evading. So, yeah. We're not trying to permit any stereotypes here, okay? Uh, I'm vegetarian. I'm vegan. I like the distinction here, but I'm good with anything, bro. I don't, I don't I'm not like that. I'm good with anything. Alrighty. Why don't you wait for me in the living room? It's right next to the kitchen. Sorry, he's got more of like a young energetic voice, doesn't he? <laughs> Suddenly blasted. No, don't do it. Yeah, I wonder. Living room, I guess, huh? I guess with how many doors the hallway has, it makes sense. Still, Kevin didn't seem that big from the outside. Weird. Wait, do you not have earbuds in? You're fucking crazy. You're you're insane. You're a sicko mode. What the fuck? Uh, yeah, gotcha. <laughs> wow. Crow sure has a lot of books. Maybe he's some kind of scientist? He looks the part, at least. I'm telling you right now, he's just some guy who's wearing a lab coat. He, he doesn't know what he's talking about. It's pretty cozy, too. Kind of surreal knowing how cold it is outside. I was connecting my headphones for after. Damn! Nice. Big win. Hey, you're lucky I didn't say something worse. After awkwardly wonder wandering about the room for a couple of minutes, I decided to sit on one of the couches. Oh my gosh. I lift my butt and throw myself out on the seat cushion a few more times for good measure. I'm just going to say it now, by the way, chat. Someone on YouTube commented in one of my older videos. They said their mom walked in while they were listening to me. And their mom, like, told them to stop watching me. And I, I was like... I try to keep it PG-13, man. I try so hard, okay? I try. So comfy. I wonder if it's tailor-made. The couches sold in Silvering City definitely aren't as comfortable as this one. Well, the one's in Golden Willow in any case. The carpet looks really inviting. No, don't say that. My own mod. Should I take off my boots to feel the fiber texture under my feet? What? Dude, you're just gonna fucking dip your toes in this dude's carpet? You're just gonna get them dogs out, dude? For free? What if he looks at them? What if he's like, get your nasty ass, gross, stinky toe off your fucking- Do it. We're doing it. We don't give a fuck. Here goes. Ah, ooh. Mmm. It's so soft. I'm a freak. I'd love to have one of these at home. Hmm. He's probably gonna give it- Having fun. <gasps> Oh, my dirty little secret. Crow smirks at me while holding a tray with a bunch of stuff. I'm sorry for being <laughs> nasty. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not mad. Quite the opposite, in fact. I, too, love to rub my dirty feet right into the carpet. <laughs> no! No! Why? Why did I do that? Why? Ah, oh, no! Not the lick! <laughs> It makes me happy that you feel right at home. All right. Clink, clink. Nice. Free food? Wow. Pancakes? With four berries? Delicious. I quickly pick up my fork to give them a taste. Why didn't he put them in the pancakes? Also, how many fucking pancakes is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Nine? Nine pancakes? Is that a stack of nine pancakes, bro? Oh! Oh my god, dude! Nine pancakes? Oh my... This is Canada, by the way. When you get pancakes in Canada, they really do give you, like, a shit ton of pancakes. Who eats that many pancakes? 
<laughs> I can feel my heart stopping. You think this is enough syrup and butter for nine pancakes, motherfucker? This is gonna get soaked up by the top one. You're gonna be dry bread for all of this. Oh, oh it hurts. <laughs> Silence. You need this many pancakes? Oh no. Jet engine laptop. Feels good, man. When I was in uni, my my uh my laptop was fucking crazy too. When I uh I was like I'd be like gaming in class. I'd be playing like Binding of Isaac in a in a class, and I'd just be like. Rrr. Teacher looking at me. Hey, I'm just I'm just typing up notes. Fluffy texture of the pancakes combined with the juiciness of the berries and the floral and sweet taste of the honey sends me right to heaven. So good. Several compliments slip out of my mouth before I even finish swallowing. In this chat, we swallow. I can't help it. They're freaking amazing. <laughs> Looks like someone was hungry. Ugh, that's embarrassing. What am I, a kid? Ugh, I actually ate the food given to me? What am I, a child? Why didn't I spit it up? Ugh. Sorry about that. Got a bit too excited. Nothing to be sorry about. I'm happy you like them so much. They were fantastic. I never had honey this good. Wait, not syrup? Honey? Nah. Nah. No! That's wrong. That's fucking wrong. Twitter crashed. <laughs> honey on pancakes? Dude, you need maple syrup! Oh, it hurts. Everything about this game is just crazy wrong, dude. First, with the, the swerving out of the way for the animal. Secondly, leaving the car behind without my gloves. Thirdly, walking off-road into the middle of a forest. Fourth, digging my nasty-ass toes into his carpet. And fifth, now we're eating pancakes with honey? Oh my god. What type of honey is it? This is spring wildflower honey. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful how the flavor and color can change so much depending on the time of the year it's harvested? Well, I wouldn't know. It's my first time. Definitely. It also depends on the flowers the bees collect the nectar from. That's so cool. I'd love to try other types of honey. True, me too. Don't forget the chaga tea, though. It'll warm you right up. I actually finished my tea a while ago. I, I wanted to make another glass, but... It happens. Oopsies. Hee <laughs> hee. I take the mug of chaga tea and rest my cheek on the ceramic. It's warm. It has an earthy aroma. I've never had chaga tea before, but it doesn't smell like anything I've ever tasted. What herb or fruit does it come from? Hmm. Curious, aren't we? Chaga is a type of mushroom that grows in the bark of birch trees. It's a little hard to find. You need to be careful not to confuse it with dead chaga, but it's worth the search since it's very good for you. Wow, that's kind of cool. Right? Nature is amazing. It sure is. When it's not trying to kill you, that is. Hey, nature ain't trying to kill you, okay? Nature doesn't try to kill you, okay? It's just... Whether you live or die is up to you and your brain, okay? At least when it comes to nature. But I don't want to dampen the mood. He looks so happy. Distract myself by taking a sip of the tea, but almost choke at the unexpected taste. <coughs> oh, sorry, your tea was fucking disgusting, bro. Ugh, so bitter. Uh, Whoops, forgot to mention that. Here, have some sugar, Snowflake. Wow, kind of, kind of rude, Snowflake. Whoa. I mean, I know I'm using they, them pronouns, but, like, that's that's pretty fucking rude, Crow. Come on, man. Don't call me a snowflake. What the fuck is this, man? Whoa! Yeah, look at As Even Aspen's like, what? What? Snowflake? Protest? Blush? Give him a nickname. Yeah, we're gonna play give him a nickname, too. Thanks, Jewel. Wait, Jewel. Oh, well, I... Okay. N no problem. I guess he wasn't expecting that. Crow doesn't seem to mind, though. He even, he even looks happy. How cute. 
I add two teaspoons of sugar and stir. Oh, okay. He's steaming. He loved it, man. Better? A lot. Thank you. Maybe the bitter taste will grow on you with time. <laughs> Who knows? I wonder if the natural food store near home sells chaga tea. Yeah, why'd you say in time? What do you mean? Which reminds me. Are you a nature scientist, Crow? Hmm. Oh, curious about me, aren't we? Maybe. <laughs> I like your honesty. Something like that. I prefer to call myself an environmental researcher. Okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. Do you have any anything you specialize in? Well, nature is pretty vast, so I study a bit of everything. Plants, animals, ecosystems. But right now, I'm researching partial migration in certain animals. Okay. Partial. Your face tells me you have more questions. You got me. Partial migration is just like the name suggests. It's a phenomenon where only some individuals of a certain species move from one region to another, while the rest stay put. I see. Kind of like when some birds migrate because of winter? <laughs> yes, exactly. For some reason, the animals who don't migrate during winter tend to be the same as the ones who don't migrate the following year and so forth. That's intriguing. Isn't it? It really makes you want to know why. Uh... Perhaps it's a bit ironic, but I'm actually focusing on crows right now. <laughs> well, what can I say? Fits you to a T. <laughs> I'd better do the research justice then. Hydrate time. Hydrate. Everybody give a hydrate for me. All right. Thank you. Uh, that makes me wonder, was the crow I saw on the road a partial migrator or not? Hmm. I drank. I drank. Did you guys drink? But enough about me. Why don't you tell me more about yourself? Promise you're not going to laugh? Cross my heart and hope to die. <laughs> okay, okay. To be honest... I needed a break. My job back home is really stressful to say the least. I don't know when the last time I took a vacation was. It was a real vacation. Not just a day off, you know. I start to fidget with my fingers. Works always like, this is urgent, or I need you to be online. Or Jerry screwed up again, now we've got to do overtime. Ooh. Ooh, yikes. Every day at every hour, everywhere. It's pure chaos. I bend forward. Uh, mm, gamer time? There's just no escape. And bury my head in my hands. Oh, no, depression time. I feel so stuck all the time. Like, there's no point in anything. Like, I'm living to work and not li working to live. That does suck. You should definitely take some time for yourself. Like, I want to disappear for an indefinite amount of time and not think about anything. Which is pretty much what I did. Well, partially anyway. Because I only took one week off. <laughs> Rip. I don't know if we're going to be doing that, chat. Jesus Christ. God, what am I saying to a stranger? Sorry. Got a bit overwhelmed for a second. It, it's alright, Snowflake. I think it's good that you're letting it all out. Who said you could keep saying that, bro? <laughs> He's being so sweet, I almost want to cry. But I feel embarrassed about being so vulnerable with a person I barely know. So why is the music like kind of like, kind of like bum 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 bum? I just want a kiss scene. Kiss already, kiss already, you nerds. No, call me weird for thinking this, but it feels so right to talk to him. It feels like I'm really being listened to for the first time. I'm being rizzed up right now, guys. Like he actually cares, even when he doesn't know me. By the way, guys, if you really want a really good trick to uh you know getting a partner of any sort just listen you know ask questions about them and then listen that's a big one that's a winner okay i'm literally in class <laughs> you want me sure to read some of these messages laugh, what i see is a very hard working person who's clearly not being appreciated and needs to relax was he british no no i can't do british he probably needs a little pampering too I think you were right in taking a week off. Hmm. 
In fact, you should have probably asked for more, because you're not leaving here ever again. <laughs> oh, now it's a whoopsies! <laughs> That's just for my book I'm writing? Don't don't worry about it. Thank you. Though I'm sure Crow noticed my voice breaking, chooses not to say anything, probably out of kindness. Why don't you tell me more about this vacation of yours? Where were you planning to go? Oh, right. Well, I actually wanted to ask you about it before. Is Frost Peak Town too far away from here? Huh? Did you say Frost Peak Town? Yeah, I was looking for places to visit that were good for relieving stress. Not beaches, mind you. Something to actually let my frustrations out. You know, beat one out. Pun punching. Punching the snow. Punching the snow. You know, beat up the snow. So I kept searching and I found a bunch of articles saying how skiing was really good for all that. Not skiing, bro. Dude, at least whip out the snowboard. Come on. Then, let's just say I chose the place that was furthest away from home to feel like I was genuinely going on a trip. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of a thrill seeker, aren't we? I mean, not really. But I guess I needed a bit of excitement to take my mind off things. Is that so? Dude, skiing is way worse than snowboarding, okay? Why'd you say that? Why'd you say it like that? Crow? That smile should be illegal. It was more of a smirk than a smile, but that's okay. By the way, to answer your last question, Frost Peak Town is around this area. Really? Uh... Yes. I sense a butt coming. A big one. But it's a few hours away by car, unfortunately. Oh. Sag. There is a bus that takes you there, though. And the bus stop isn't far from here. Oh, okay. Then again, the snowstorm yesterday did quite a number on the roads. So it will probably take a while until the snow is removed. They will most likely have to repair the damage, too. Fucking hell. Do you know how much... Do you know how, how much time it will take until the buses resume their usual route? Hmm. About a week? About a week, I'm assuming. Shit. There goes my vacation. Guess I'll have to stay in this area, then. I'll just go sleep in my car. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about me, Crow. I'll, I'll just go sleep in my car. You know how it goes. What about the hotels? Are there any around here, Crow? Hotels? Hmm. Hmm. I don't think so. Not many people come visit this area. They don't? Not during winter, anyhow. What does that mean? Unlike Frost Peak, this village really doesn't have any uh, real attractions, per se. Not to mention, only about 11 people live here, and we're all murderers who live in cabins about a mile away from each other. It's pretty hard to get fresh murders. Farmers and people with summer vacation houses, to be more precise. Well, me, well, and me. Wait, this is a rural area? More so in the other seasons. It's mostly deserted during winter since this village is not well suited to shelter cattle in such harsh weather conditions. It's most likely the reason why this village is called Winter Hollow. Winter Hollow sounds kind of cool, but also kind of ominous. A bit similar to partial migration, don't you think? <laughs> it, it scares me a little when he just starts talking. Now that he mentions it, that must also be why I saw no one on the way here. I'm pretty sure Frost Peak has a t hotel in its town, but... Wait, you got a car, bro? Maybe you can help me out. What am I supposed to do, then? <laughs> this is really awkward, bro. I assume he doesn't have a car. Sorry, I can't imitate his voice. I I can't. I think it's even British, too. Ugh, I can't imitate that at all. We didn't say anything for a while. This is probably the unluckiest break I've had in a long time. Getting a flat and having no replacement for it? Forgetting my gloves when going to such a cold place? Eating pancakes without maple syrup? Ugh. Getting diddled? Ugh. Getting caught in a snowstorm in a village that's pretty much deserted save for one person? Am I cursed or something? Why can't luck be on my side for once? And getting caught diddling his carpet with my dirty ass toes. Oh no. Burnout is the fucking worst. I can't even take a vacation properly. Yikes. Crow's the first one to break the silence. Why don't you stay here for a few days? Well, thanks. 
No thanks. No thanks. No, 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 no. I couldn't possibly impose on you. Eh? <laughs> Why do visual novels always do? Does anyone actually go eh? Eh? Denanda? Eh? Ihi? Just eh? Eh? I I'm pretty sure only Canadians say that IRL, and they don't say it at the, like that. They just ask us a question. Did I hear him right? <laughs> Like, Crow would have said it. Crow would have been like, well, why don't you stay here, eh? Well, why don't you stay here, eh, mate? Hey, bud. <laughs> why do you look so surprised? Considering there aren't many alternatives, I think it's a good idea, don't you think, eh? <laughs> should I just make Crow Canadian? By the way, should I just make him a Canadian? <laughs> I... I don't want to impose. Yeah, I don't want to impose. <laughs> Are you sure? I don't want to impose. You're not. I wouldn't have offered you to stay otherwise. Then... Okay, I'll stay. Well, that didn't All take right. much convincing. Alright, well, we're... We're <laughs> we're a man slut. Alright. Or just a slut. Sorry, I don't want to assume. We're they them, so... We're just a slut. Nice. Well, Crow, hop in. You already diddled me once. Alrighty. His enthusiasm is so infectious that I find myself jumping for joy as well. Look at that smile, okay? Look at this face. Those are fuck me eyes, dude. Those are huge. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bang tonight eyes, okay? This is... No, dude. No. No. <laughs> Seems I have a roommate now. Oh, wait. Shit, shit. I clicked off. Or cabin mate, rather. Thank you, Crow. I mean it. We're going to have so much fun you'll never want to leave. Uh, what do you mean, Crow? <laughs> Stop teasing me like that, or I might just believe you. I'm turning the volume down now. <laughs> no! No, you're not allowed. Sorry, Lop. Not allowed. And the brightness. Ah, the brightness is fine. Don't worry about it. I'll go wash the dishes. Oh, you don't have to. Uh, uh, uh. <clears throat> uh, sorry, did I just suck your... No? Flash my palm at him before he finishes the sentence. Nope. You're already letting me stay in your home for a whole week. The least I can do is help you with the dishes and a few other things. Uh, Alright. Good. I'll be right back. I arrange the dirty mugs, plates, and teapot on the tray. Head back to the kitchen. Hey, it's not me moaning. It's the characters, okay? <laughs> to, well, I just saw someone call you Lop, so I just I just said Lop, too. Lopologen? Lop Lopogelin? Lopogelin? That's, that's long. I need something short. Tell me a nickname, and I'll say it, okay? I wasn't joking before, Snowflake. Sure. <laughs> Don't whisper it out loud. I heard that, dude. <laughs> no. Don't be creepy, Crow. It's like day one, man. It's been day one. It's day one, man. And he's already he's already fucking creeping on me, man. Yo, does his window have fucking Yo, this is so cool. What is it? A glass stained window? That's awesome. After waking up from one of the best night's sleeps I've ever had, make sure to clean myself up the while well, brag about it, asshole. Jeez, man. Brag about it some more. Damn. Oh, it's Lofogelin. Okay. Okay. I I I know pH, but I I don't know why. I just saw Lopogelin. I don't know. Lo Lofogelin. Lofogelin. Ooh, thank God, Crow has so many spare toothbrushes. Ah, that's... That's a bit weird. I guess it makes sense that you need to supply yourself with a whole bunch of stuff if you like... Yeah, yeah, you just... Yeah, yeah, just make sure to look at... Why are they all out of the box? Wait, why are all the toothbrushes out of their boxes, though? Wait a second. Why are the... Why do some of the toothbrushes look a little... A little used? Wait a second. Wait a second. Why does that one have someone's name on it? No, 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 it's just me. I'm just crazy. Can't really make a quick trip to the grocery store, can you? Didn't see a car outside the cabin, though. So maybe he gets everything delivered? 
Farmers probably sell him some stuff too. Eh, who knows. Once I'm presentable enough, I make my way to the kitchen. Or maybe he just steals them from all the travelers he kidnaps and then diddles and then murders. Maybe that's it. Chat? Agree or not agree? I'm greeted with the smell of rice cooking on a stove. The sound of Crow's masterful skill of cutting veggies at a ridiculous speed. It's a bit weird that I hear the boiling. You should uh, you should definitely cover up that pot, man, if you're cooking rice. Better not call out to him just yet, or he might cut himself by accident. The moment I moved head to... I move to head to another room, though. Crow notices me and stops dead in his tracks. Oh! He leaves the knife on the counter and approaches me. That's good. Good morning, Aspen. I was about to go wake you up. Morning. Somehow this feels a little like deja vu. Motherfucker, you say good morning. You're in someone else's house. You look them in the eye. You say good morning. <laughs> Son of a bitch. No manners. Feels a little like deja vu, don't you think? <gasps> we spoke to each other like this yesterday, too. Actually, I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> Perhaps this will be something of a daily ritual for us? Uh, lunch will be ready in a little bit, by the way. Um, we woke up. We w Just to answer your question, we woke up. And uh, with our clothes changed. Completely changed, by the way. We were passed out. We got to his front door. He opened the door. We passed out. Quotation marks. Chloroformed us, for sure. And then we woke up in new clothes. In a bed we've never slept in, in our lives. Yep. We got diddled. Wait, lunch? I know I went to sleep earlier than usual, but still. Did the bath relax me that much? Jeez, I slept like a log. Hmm. Maybe it's the effect of the... Oh my god. Please don't say it. Log cabin. <laughs> that was terrible. Wow, we are we are down bad, chat, if we laughed at that. Well, you laughed, didn't you? This cheeky buster. Yeah, yeah, whatever. But honestly speaking, you were under a lot of stress yesterday. It's no wonder you slept so much. If anything... Isn't it a good thing? I imagine your job doesn't let you rest very well. You're not wrong there. Anyway. Do you need help with the food? Don't worry about it. It's almost done. But you can help me by setting the table in the living room if you want. <laughs> sure. I'll go ahead and do that then. Thank you. One set table later. I wait for the crow to be by sitting... I wait for Crow by sitting on the two-seater couch, hoping he's going to sit next to me. But not for long. The neatly arranged bookshelves in the corner of the room catch my eye once again. All of them are hardcovers. All of them have spines with no titles. Books that look a little bit worn out and faded, but not to the point where you can say they're old. Just that they've been read several times. Not going to lie, I'm really curious about his collection. Please no. Please, Zach. Blackjack, please no. What does Crow like to read? Before I change my mind, I chicken out and I grab a reddish book from one of those shelves. It's the only one with a vibrant color. Oh, okay. Let's see. Winter Ecology. Living in the cold. Dude, I live in the cold. Oh, I already know everything about this. Well, that's fitting, alright. We have heard, all heard about ecology at least once. Shit. How it studies the interrelationships between living things and their environment. How it strives to explain the behavior of assorted species around the world. It is vast. It is ever-changing. But how much does it truly change in the realm of winter? Recent discoveries have shown the incredible strategies that living things have implemented in order to pull through the cli cold climates. This, in turn, reinforces the fact that we are all connected. All connected? It begs the question... How much is truly necessary to survive? <gasps> Sound of Crow's footsteps distract me from going any further. I... Wait. Let's save. This seems like a good save. Okay. Seems like a good save. I... Keep the book right with me. Yeah. Let's keep the book with me. Yeah. What's wrong? You can't just leave books out and not say anything about it. Right? 
I'm not going to put it back. It's just a book. No big deal if I want to read it, right? Besides, he did say I could make myself at home, so... Look at this face, man. Look at this rascal. Uh, Crow stares at the book in my hands. That's... Uh... Did that one in particular catch your eye? Well, the bright red book where all the other books are brown and pinkish? Yeah, it did, actually. How'd you know? Hey, did you guys know red is the first thing you see? If, uh, if you're looking at a picture or something, like, red is the first color you see? Yeah. It's really good for thumbnails and stuff, apparently. Just in case, inspect the hardcover from all sides. Is there anything I'm missing? Sorry, was this one off limits? No, no, not at all. It is, um, well... I just thought it seemed interesting. Crow? Thank you. Oh, it's his book, isn't it? Wait a minute, did you write this? Uh... <laughs> Dude. Yeah, yes. That was that was pretty funny. Uh, that's pretty funny, honestly, not gonna lie. Uh, ooh woo. Is this for me? It's not quite finished yet. You actually grabbed the one that's a work in progress. <laughs> so gay? Well, how do you know? I mean, I, I'm... I mean, I could present more as a female. Maybe, you know? It's kind of cute seeing him embarrassed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Huh? I was hoping to keep working on it this week. That's amazing, Crow. I'm sure you'll do great. Posture check. Wait, you didn't. You just typed it. You didn't even. No, not happening. I'm a man playing this game. Why? Why? What does it matter? I'm. I'm pretty confident in my masculinity. Are you with yours? Maybe you gotta get out of the closet, bud. Thank you. Give me a stretch. Ah, uh, yeah, give me a stretch. You too, YouTube. Give me a stretch. Hey, by the way, if anyone tells you you're gay for playing a visual novel that is gay, tell them, don't care. Maybe I am gay. Maybe I'm not. Who the fuck cares? Not me. I know what I am. I ain't got no problems with that. You gotta figure it out yourself, boy, buddy. Buddy old pal. Thank you. By the way, if you're interested, I can show you some of my favorites later. It's like it's like when you're with your homies, and your homie's like, Yo, you want to kiss, but no homo? And you say, yeah, sure, homie. And you kiss, and you do no homo. And you're, then you're good. Then you're not gay. Easy as that. Did you enjoy it? Maybe you're a little gay. Nothing wrong with that. Many of these books have taught me a lot of what I know today. There have been some especially brilliant scientists throughout history. Sure. That'd be nice. I have to ask, though. How can you tell all these apart? There's nothing written on their spines or even their front. Hmm. On it, oh, each book has a number and a symbol assigned to it, depending on the, on the topic. I like to keep them organized in this manner, since the textless hardcovers look more aesthetic and neat. I think you miswrote that. It's, fellas... Is it gay to kiss your homies? And the answer is, nah, it's not. Well, you're certainly dedicated, that's for sure. <laughs> Never thought of it that way, but I guess you have a point. Did I do it with my own bookshelves, though? Too annoying to keep track of what's, of what's what. Let's eat, shall we? Crow places our lunch on top of the placemats that I previously set on the wooden table. Don't mind if I do. What are we eating today? What's what's on the menu? Bro? Yo, this looks delicious. White rice with some little vegetables, maybe. Some peas and carrots thrown in there with no soy sauce. Okay, maybe, maybe if you're doing the peas and carrots, maybe some teriyaki. Maybe some soy sauce maybe mixed in there. Just, just, just for next time. Uh, a bed of like some kind of spinach or lettuce, uh, maybe maybe some mint, you know, uh, carrots, little diced up carrots, and uh, nice salmon, nice fillet of salmon with a uh, a sprinkling of pepper, but not lemon pepper. Eh, it still looks really good though. Hopefully there's some salt in that fucker too. Looks so good. I love salmon rice. 
You do? I'm glad. I'll be sure to remember that. Crow will remember that. It's top right corner. <laughs> top left. Crow will remember this. <laughs> Wasting no more time, and before I end up salivating all over my clothes, I wolf down the meal with gusto. With gusto! Ha ha ha! Mmm. That's, that's a One Piece reference. I'm sorry. Every flavor is so rich. The smoky and juicy salmon, the fluffy and buttery rice. It's impossible to keep the smile off my face. Remember, guys, if you're gonna do something, do it with gusto. I love food. True. That was delicious. <laughs> A happy success, then. Hell yeah. Once we finish eating, Crow starts piling up the dishes as if it was the most natural thing in the world. Wait, Crow. Huh? Don't you remember what I said yesterday? I'll take care of that. But... Crow looks to the side, but he still doesn't let go of the dishes. Alright, time for plan B. Take his pants up. Wow. Well, Look, we don't have to wash them right away. Can't we just talk a little more? Oh, definitely. Gusto now sounds like a brand that's promoting your Twitch. No, 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 no. It's just Gusto. <laughs> gusto. Live your life with Gusto. With this, he finally sits back down on the sofa. He told me I should relax. Can you not see the irony? What would you like to talk about? Well, I feel like we talked a lot about me yesterday. I'm interested in knowing more about this place. Do you have a TV? Maybe the news could tell me some info about the weather and such. Uh, you think this guy has TV reception? At best, he has a satellite. At best. He fidgets with his hands. I'm sorry, Snowflake. I don't really watch TV anymore, so I didn't bother to bring one when I moved here. Though I admit I miss watching Ned Talks at Nature. <laughs> Ned Talks. Ned. You know, from Ned's Disclassified School Survival Guide. Yeah, he's talking about that. And Nature Planet. <laughs> it's okay. Honestly, I'm pretty much the same in that regard. I mean, who even watches TV anymore than Netflix and other streaming services? Brothers, do you guys... E Come on. All you need is me, right? On YouTube. All you need is YouTube, right? Come on. And Mr. Clockworks on YouTube? I hear that guy's pretty cool, right? A? A? YouTube? YouTube? Please don't unsubscribe. Um, <laughs> still, never hurts to ask, am I right? That's true. Also, you moved here? Did you have me fooled all along and are actually a city boy? <laughs> well, I'm in my 30s, so hardly a boy. And, frankly, I don't know much about the city either. I moved from another village that's west of Winter Hollow. Hmm. Older guys. Oh, don't tell me. Frostpeak Town? Frostpeak is a beautiful place to live, but no. I moved from a village called Veritas Falls, even farther to the west. That's a pretty name. What kind of place is it? Crow breaks eye contact and sighs. <sighs> he leans against the back of his seat and supports his elbow on the sofa's arm before resting his chin on his hand. A little boring, to be honest. Not much to do. My parents beat me up there. I see. He looks a bit uncomfortable. I should change the topic. By the way, I know you said you don't have a TV, but what about the Wi-Fi? I noticed I didn't have any reception on my phone, but maybe if I connect to your Wi-Fi? Crow looks at me as if I'd grown three heads. What? Wild Rye? <laughs> no. Brother, you're a scientist? And you don't know nothing about the internet? Oh my... What are you doing? Who are you, who are you even sharing your documents with? How are you getting peer-reviewed studies, man? If you ain't on the internet. You're a whack. You're a whack. You're definitely not a city boy. So, some things have difficult names, alright? I'm willing to bet nature has names that are even more complicated. Huh? You think so? Of course the nature nerd would say that. Um, anyway, don't worry about it. Back to the topic. Wi-Fi is wireless connection to the internet. It's very convenient, but I guess it's not really necessary if you only have one device. Uh. You don't have internet either, right? I'm sorry. I do know what it is, though. 
It's just not really for me. Okay, at least he knows what the internet is. Bruh. I'm not very good with that kind of technology. The most I'm willing to do is have an electric generator. <laughs> Bro, you call yourself a scientist? Come on now. Hey, sure, it's okay. It's okay. Sure, internet is convenient, but I think it's really admirable that you're very hands-on with your research. Yeah, but if he can't get peer-reviewed research, then his research means nothing. Oh my god, dude. He peed reviews with his hands at 3 a.m. Oh no. He's got, he's talking to the plants outside. He's got like a chicken outside. He put a little scientist coat on it and he's just like, he's, <laughs> he's got a little scientist coat on, on, uh, on a chicken outside and he just hands them his research papers and he's just like, can you, can you check this out for me? Oh no. Did my stream just go down? No, right? We're good, right? Did we go down for a second? No, I think we're good. Wait. If anything, I wish I could be less addicted to social media. And otaku culture? Otaku. Right? There are just so many things you have to see for yourself. Like anime. I want to watch anime. Okay. <laughs> How will he subscribe and hit the bell icon for Mr. Clockworks on YouTube? True! Oh my god. What a fool. And reading things from the internet doesn't hit quite the same as feeling the texture of paper in your hands. That's kind of true, man. I actually agree with that. That's why I always buy, like, an issue of manga every once in a while. Because I'm like, feels good, man. <laughs> well, I've always loved the smell of books. Okay. Okay. Me too. Have you actually ever opened, like, cracked open a really bad smelling book? It's happened to me one time in my life. And it was, like, a brand new book. And it smelled like... It smelled like horrible and i was like this is fucked up this is wrong i wanted to refund the book i thought it was hilarious that that happened one time in my life before we know it it's already evening and we've spent most of the day talking about various topics i have to say that i'm getting more and more interested in crow's research do you think i could help you with it like when you go outside and observe nature or forage for stuff huh? you'd like to accompany me are you kidding this is a once in a lifetime opportunity Sure, lots of people go skiing, but not everyone can say they've been studying winter ecology with a bona fide specialist. You're you're giving him a lot of labels. Has this guy even gone to a university? Does he even have any diplomas? Or is he just caveman science right now? He's just like, uh, duh. Well, I certainly wouldn't mind. It'd be nice to finally have some company. He definitely didn't go to school online. He didn't take online courses, is what I'll say. And there are things books can't teach. You have to see them for yourself. Hmm... But we'll have to go tomorrow morning. Winter days are much shorter, after all. The sky's already turning dark. Don't I know it, brother? It's like dark in Canada at like 5 p.m., bro. It's like it's our it's like nighttime at 5 p.m. It's like dark at 4. Yeah, that's totally fine. I wouldn't want to be alone in the dark either way, especially given how I got caught in a snowstorm merely two days ago. Yo, hydrate everybody? Get a hydrated. Stay topped up. Get a snack, you know? This is a long one. It's getting a bit chilly. Should we make some tea? Or get your dinner, get your supper, get your breakfast, your lunch, your brunch. You know? Have fun. Yeah. But let me wash the dishes first. With Crow right by my side, I pick up the plates and take them to the sink. Alright, uh. maybe hydrate seven times, everyone. Or I'll find you. And I'll make you drink. Okay, it still makes me a bit queasy making you wash the dishes. You're a guest. Come on, it's no big deal. Have you never divided household chores with anyone? Not really. I've managed them on my own for most of my life. I know his experience is probably not the same as mine. I know it, and yet... I can't help but feel like I can relate. Do you ever feel lonely? Lonely? Lonely, huh? Hmm. Not anymore. Don't say stuff like that, bro. What are you doing? I broke a plate because of that. Yeah, don't don't hit me with that, man. That's scary. Whew. Commitment? Huh. Scary stuff. Quickly bend down to grab the broken pieces. Ah. But unintentionally cut the palm of my hand in my haste. Uh Oh, God. Shit. It just had gotten healed from the frostbite, too. Aspen! 
Sorry, Crow. I broke your... I don't care about the stupid plate! <laughs> no! The way you said stupid. <laughs> stupid plate! <laughs> no! <laughs> He's British, right? Yo, Birdie100, what's up? Instead of waiting for an answer, Crow grabs my wrist and puts my hand under the faucet. Fuck, it's still bleeding! Well, yeah, Crow, that's that's not how that works. <laughs> oh, you're definitely not a doctor. Fuck, the water didn't heal your hand? With vigor and precision, he lathers up my hands with a green herbal soap until there are no signs of red. Actually, if you want to do a good job, well, really quickly, you could cut off the blood to your hand by uh, tying off your hand, your like wrist or something with a belt, and then wrapping it up, and then and then on uh, numbing it, like and then unwrap it, the uh, the tie the knot you did. Not for too long though. Can't take a while because that's bad for your hand, right? With vigor and precision, he lathers up my hands with a green herbal soap until there are no signs of red. But generally speaking, put some pressure on it. Get it wrapped up. Say, like, uh, obviously, you should clean it with some alcohol or something. You know, the usual stuff. Seems to calm him down a little, since he's no longer grating his teeth. But he doesn't let go of my hand. Um, Crow, I think I'm alright now. You can let go. No, not yet. Not yet! I don't dare interrupt him again, so I stare at him while he gets a hold of it, of a first aid kit and takes out a small round container. What, is he gonna give me stitches? Yeah, a tourniquet, yeah. Well, that's... Isn't that... Well, that's a little bit more intense, I'm pretty sure, than what I'm talking about. Don't worry. It won't sting. He opens the lid, draws a finger in the creamy ointment, and rubs it over my wound. Why do you... Why do you... Neosporin, bro? It has a minty fragrance. Finally, he covers it with gauze. Ah. English? Uh, honestly, be more careful, won't you? wasn't that big of a deal i mean yeah i'll be more careful yeah aspen i think he's being pretty reasonable you know i i wouldn't want someone a stranger in my house to start bleeding all over the place <laughs> that's a good bean i don't think i should tell him i'm not a bean i mean i don't think i should tell him i got hurt because he caught me off guard in the first place Th thanks crow i uh we were about to have some tea yeah i'll make us some tea all right. Great. Anything to get me out of this awkward conversation. Run away. Speed! Nothing will come between us. Nothing. No person. No animal. Not even a pesky wound. I'll make sure of it. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! Laughing! See you later, dude. Thanks for tuning in, and I appreciate it. You can catch all of it on YouTube, by the way. Eventually. I don't know when I'll upload this exact video, but you catch it all up there. Come on. Come on. For the hundredth time in a row, I look at the upper left corner of the screen. Nothing. I met with the same no-service text. Almost like it's mocking me. Generally speaking, yeah, you'll need a cell tower to reach that far. Ugh. Really? The only thing I could confirm by charging my phone is the time. Well, you don't got any games on your phone? All warm drinks suck. That's not true! I like tea. I like hot chocolate. Sometimes I even like coffee. You know, French vanilla? That shit's good, man. French vanilla. Um. Yeah, there's some good drinks. Ca there's some good drinks if you go to a cafe. I already know I'm pretty much wasting my vacation. No need to say it to my face, you dumb rectangle. Although, I'm definitely not one of those people who can drink, like, a hot drink every day. Like, or only hot drinks. That's gross to me, man. That's gross. I need some cold shit. Great. Insult skills, Aspen. <sighs> Honestly, it still blows my mind that Crow had no idea what Wi-Fi was. He's like, whiffy. <laughs> I mean, come on. Who mistakes wi Wi-Fi for Wadrai? Are we even from the same planet? It's kind of adorable, though. Plus, he does know what phones and the internet are. Thank God. 
Well, he, he could have been around when, like, it was all dial-up internet, so I kind of understand it. He said he's been living out here alone for a long time. But, of course, he doesn't have either. Classic Aspen bad luck. Well, it makes sense, too, because, once again, for phone lines and things to work, you gotta get, like, the government has to pay for that, like... Like, or the company has to pay for that. And they need to know that there are enough people out there that are going to use it. And in this case, it's just him. So nobody's going to be like, yeah, I'm going to build a telephone line all the way to this one dude's house in the middle of the woods. Classic Aspen bad luck. Why was he so serious yesterday? I mean, yeah, I was bleeding a little, but it wasn't that bad, right? Like, sure, I stained his white lab coat with my blood, but... Whatever. Let's not overthink too much, Aspen. You're doing something fun today. After getting my fill of yawns and limb stretching, I approach the wardrobe to choose the clothes I'm going to wear. Yesterday, Crow insisted I put them inside the drawers so they didn't wrinkle inside my backpack. Hmm. Yo, can I get a posture check? You know, we've all been watching for a while, reading. You know, just check your seat. Get out of that goblin position. I know you're fucking goblin mode right now. Stand up straight. Make sure your feet are level on the ground. Make sure your arms are level. You know? Alright. Uh, I should probably take it with me. It'll come in handy for carrying any wild foods or herbs we come across. All set. Kim Jong-un's not the supreme leader. I'm the supreme leader in this chat. I'm about to turn around until I make eye contact with the bunny from the picture on top of the wardrobe. Although I did notice it the first day I came here, I wasn't in the right headspace at the time to actually care. It's pretty cute. I didn't know there were species of snow bunnies. Wait, what? Guess you learn something new every day. You never knew there was white bunnies. All hailed the clock. When I reached the hallway, Crow was pulling the cords of a drawstring bag to close it tightly. The sack looks so full it looks like it's, it feels like it's gonna burst. Damn, are you carrying a tent in there? Aspen, I didn't realize you were up. Rise and shine, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Good morning, Snowflake. Morning. God damn it, Aspen, say good morning. <laughs> so, are you gonna tell me what you got there? Uh. <laughs> I guess it does look pretty stuffed, doesn't it? Let's see. I packed our lunch, a thermos with hot tea, some tools for foraging. <sighs> Reconsidering, I think I probably should have taken space into account. Hey now, your assistant's got you covered. We can use my backpack to carry our findings. With a self-satisfying snort, I crouch and pat the bag lying at my feet. Crow claps his hands together and grins. Thank you. That'd be a lot of help. Do we have everything we need, then? Hmm. Yes. Are you ready? I raise my hands in the air to show him the winter gloves he gave me yesterday before heading to sleep. I didn't forget them this time. <laughs> so I see. I'm glad they fit you well. Thank you for lending them to me. Huh? Huh? Hmm? Oh, it's just... They were actually meant as a gift. Wait, really? Dude, I have gloves. Uh can't accept them thank you i can't accept them i'm sorry crow i can't accept these i'll be sure to return them to you once we're back huh? but why do you hate them that much yeah i fucking hate them i hate gloves actually what no no it's just i want frostburn on my hands well please don't take this personally but i'm not very good with surprise gifts Especially when there's no real reason to receive them. A real reason? Like what? You know, like a birthday or something? Celebrations and all that jazz? <sighs> I can't say I understand it very well. Does there need to be such a specific reason to give someone a gift? I just thought it'd make you happy since you said you didn't have your gloves with you. And I appreciate the gesture, Crow. I mean it. But I have a pair of gloves in my car, so... I don't really need another pair. I just really can't accept them. If that's how you feel, then I won't force you. Thank you. Of course. Oh, we took the coat. Nice little touch. Kurt puts on his jacket and slides the drawstring bag over his shoulder. Falls suit with my own jacket and bag. 
and backpack. Okay, for a dude oh, who lives right. in the woods, in the Arctic woods, you think he'd have a hood. Unless he's gonna pull out a balaclava. That'd be fucking hilarious. Just accept the gift. No. Alrighty. Can we sacrifice a goat to you? No. Unless you actually plan on using all of the goat. Then yes. Now then, now we're definitely ready. That we are. Takes his keys from his pants pocket and unlocks the front door. After you. Alright. You know, everything's chill, happy. When's this bus getting fixed, man? Once outside in the snow, I glance back at the log cabin. It's kind of weird to think how a mere three days ago, this was the scene of a blizzard. Right now, it's so peaceful. Kem looks kind of old in comparison to the inside. It's an interesting contrast, yet it still makes me wonder why it's like that. Not gonna lie, before we stepped into the snow, my memory of its outer appearance had still been a bit foggy. Guess that's what a combination of stress, freezing weather, and passing out can do to someone. Why does it look like shit, though, man? Why do you have shit holding the walls up? I feel a hand on my shoulder. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I was just looking at the cabin. Couldn't really appreciate the first time because of the snowstorm. Among other things. I see. And did it leave an impression on you? Well, I fiddled with my fingers. Looks a bit... Uh, unexpected compared to the inside. You could say the word old, you know. I don't bite. My che my cheeks turn scarlet. God damn it. I really need to work on my poker face. When I moved here, the inside wasn't much different from the outside. It was just shabby. Just as ancient. Wow, and you decided to remodel it? That's right. I'm not picky, but I very well couldn't live in a run-down place either. But then, why didn't you remodel the outside too? Was it too expensive? I mean, come on, dude. Come on, you're gonna be spending most of the time inside. Who the fuck is looking at your house? You know, might as well just leave it if it works. Hmm. Not particularly. I just thought it had a charm of its own. Something that appears to be a certain way at first, but then takes you back. An unexpected charm, just like you said. You're full of surprises, aren't you? Oh? Does that mean you're even more interested in me? <laughs> I like how the mic turned up there. Uh, no comment. Yes? Wait. Save? Is this an important part of the game? What do we say, boys? Yes. We're more interested. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> I like how his face changed so much right there. Yes. Uh. You sure can be very bold, huh? I wasn't expecting you to answer so honestly. Ooh, woo. What can I say? I find you very interesting. Uh, uh, you're not the only one who can tease, Crow. <sighs> I feel like you're full of surprises yourself. Look out, Forrest. Here comes the mind-boggling duo. <laughs> Pff, and you said my jokes were bad. Alrighty. Let's get going, yes? Lead the way. Dun, 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 dun. Sorry, I'm just jamming. The weather is really good today. Very clear. And there's moisture in the air. Besides chaga and pine needles, we might we might be able to get some winter green berries if we're lucky. Never heard of winter green berries before. What do they look like? Hmm. They're similar to red cranberries. But if you put them next to each other, the taste will give away which is which. Really? Is it a different kind of sweetness? Nope. Winter green berries have a minty flavor. Minty? And they're still considered berries? I know, right? Another wonder of nature. I mean, if it's a berry, why would it not be a berry? Just because it's not sweet? You can have bitter berries. Well, keeping the conversation going, we continue walking along the snowy path for a while. I feel like sharks get a bad reputation because of the movie, you know? But they're more chill than dolphins! Oh my god. This is I'm I'm literally Scott Pilgriming him, literally Scott Pilgriming him, Scott Scott Pilgriming him right now, hitting him with the facts. Appearances can certainly be deceiving, huh? huh? Crow stops dead in his tracks. What is it? Without saying anything, he takes my hand and leads me to a certain stripped striped tree. Lift my head up and squint to follow the trail of the bark. Then I see it, a bear. A blackened mass protruding from the trunk. 
Is that? I didn't expect it to look like charcoal. <laughs> oh, wait, what is it? That's actually a very good comparison. I'll show you how to harvest it. Crow puts the sack on the ground and grabs a big knife from inside. He then gains a bit of momentum and jumps towards the birch tree. And here, my friends, is how the irrefutable proof that humans are related to monkeys. We're not related to monkeys, by the way. Well, we share an ancestor. But we're not on the same line. Thank you for coming to our Ned talk. <laughs> we both laugh. Ned's declassified school survival guide? I'll be right there with you. Without wasting any more time, Crow reaches the charcoal mass and cuts off a small portion. Finally, he slides down and joins me on solid ground. This is a chaga mushroom. Is this like a... Is this a scene? Do we show this? This is a chaga mushroom. Is, it, is this where we kiss him? We make out? Mushroom make out? I lean in towards the fungus. Unlike the black mass exterior, the core is a completely different color. Wow, it's really orange. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Now, Kith. That means this one's healthy. There we go. Oh, right. Sip. Let me carry it in my bag. Thank you. Snowflake. Alrighty. Just a little bit longer, and we'll have lunch. Does that sound good? Sounds good to me. Excellent. Excellent. We've reached the side of the forest filled with pine trees, the non-toxic pine trees, that is. Crow grabs the knife in his bag to carefully cut off some needles. Once he finishes putting them up inside a small pouch, we sit down on a couple of nearby stumps. At last, a place to rest my legs. Ah, <sighs> walking on snow is more tiring than it looks. Feels good though, don't you think? When I turn to look at him, Crow hands me a thermos lid filled with a golden colored drink. Hey, don't make fun of the mods, man. You're going to get timed out for that. Little herbs floating at the top, give it away. It's pine needle tea. Keep it in my hands for a few seconds and then take a sip. Aw, oh, man, what? Nah. 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 Don't drink the pine needles, man. That's gross. That's nasty. Unlike Chaga, this tea is, aroma is more aromatic and has a minty, slightly citrusy flavor. Yeah, it does feel good. Thanks, Crow. Yeah, I'm, I'm chat dad. I don't know about daddy, but I'm definitely chat dad. Yeah, ironic. And chat dad says now to drink. To hydrate. Everybody. Drink the rest of my tea. My body feels warmer now. I think I like this one better than Chaga. Yeah, because apparently Chaga's bitter as fuck. It's very refreshing, isn't it? You can have more if you want. Maybe in a few minutes. I'm starving. Rawr. XD. <laughs> right on the dot. Does your stomach have a clock or something? Whoa. I am the clock. You were saying? Uh. A anyway. What did he make? Oh no! Is that mushrooms? Is that button? Are, are we eating button right now? Is it happened? Are we eating button? I just played that game yesterday. Trying and failing not to look too embarrassed, Crow takes out a couple of toasted sandwiches from a plastic container inside his bag. Spinach, mushroom, and grilled cheese? I like the way you think. It's nothing fancy, but I hope you find it tasty. There's no doubt in my mind that I will. I'm not going to lie, though. Uh, if you've been walking around for a couple of hours and you made grilled cheese, these are going to be sloppy as fuck. And I'm right. A few bites later, the sandwich is long gone. God. Mushrooms and cheese go so well with so many things. It's almost criminal. 
It is. You should not be able to eat button. Button is a person, okay? What are you thinking about? Hey, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, you should go really check out my Grow a Girlfriend video on YouTube right now. It's a pretty good game. It's a fun visual novel about growing a girlfriend for chat that just happened to be a mushroom girl. That a full tummy really makes for a happy heart. <laughs> I really did just uh, self-advertise in my own video, by the way. <laughs> Robert, cut that out, okay? Cut that out, clock. Later, get it out of the video. I couldn't agree more. Trying new recipes and exploring new flavors is something I enjoy as well. Maybe you could also take inspiration from a nearby restaurant? I could just- Ah! What's wrong? I completely forgot about my car. Hmm. Uh, the one that broke down? Well, kinda. Mostly just got a fra flat tire. But I should really look for it to make sure it didn't get destroyed in the snowstorm. Okay, chill. I, 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 I've said my name. Also, also, you just said it too. My name is not Bob, okay? It is not Bob. Chill. Never call me Bob. You will be banned if you call me Bob. No joke. Timed out, whatever. But I, I, I don't like Bob. It's, uh, it's just Clock. Just call me Clock. Robert is good. Robert is fine. It's a little more personal, I guess. But, I mean, it's not, it's not, a, it's not, it's not something I've hidden. But I should really look for it to make sure it didn't get destroyed in the snowstorm. Also, your car would not be destroyed, okay? Cars are fucking expensive after all. It might be buried in snow, but it won't be destroyed. Stand up and pat my butt a few times to get rid of any remaining dirt. I also would prefer if just people called me Clock on YouTube. Like, a lot. Um, just, I prefer Clock on YouTube. I'll be right back. Crow grabs my arm. Da -da. No. Um... Uh, What's up, man? We should start heading back. It won't be much longer until it gets dark. I I just want to check real quick. Look, I remember this path. My car shouldn't be that far ahead. Are you sure about that? Yeah. Huh? How do you know you're not making a mistake? You don't know the area like I do. Well, come with me. Not to mention, with the blizzard, your car must be covered in snow anyway, so it'll be even harder to spawn. Wait, you telling me I wouldn't notice a giant fucking lump? <laughs> Is that really the case? It will get dark soon. We shouldn't be here when that happens. It's not safe. I guess it's true that I don't know this area very well, but... Please, Aspen. Okay. Thank you. For understanding. With a hurried pace, Crow puts back all the containers inside his drawstring bag. Let's get going, shall we? Yeah. Huh. Okay. A little weird, man. Why don't Why don't you let me see my car? Probably have a spare. Chat is interesting today. Chat is a little interesting. Don't read chat. Don't even worry about it, viewers. Okay? <sighs> don't worry about chat. If you're watching this on YouTube, you just want to bang Crow, don't you? Okay. Well, we will eventually, I think. Or we get murdered. One of, one of the two. One of the two. Maybe both. In the same one. Almost home. Why does he sound so relieved? Let me grab my keys. Sure. What was that sound? Huh. Ugh, damn it. I should have put them inside my coat. While Crow is busy searching for the keys, I try to pinpoint the location of the sound. Where is it? Huh. That's... I raise my head and discover the culprit of a flapping noise upon the cabin's roof. 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 <laughs> Feet perched on the chimney. You bastard, Crow. <laughs> I'm gonna beat the shit out of you, Crow. You're the one who ruined my car! Disturbing and piercing stare. Why'd the music pick up so much? It's just a fucking bird, man. There's a single crow. A crow with red eyes. Okay, man, chill. I doubt it's the same one. But I still have a vendetta against them all now. Uh...
Where? What is this place? It's almost like... Hold on a second. Am I dreaming? And what's with all the fog? There's no floor. But I can walk just fine for some reason. Guess I'll keep walking. Yeah, let's just keep walking in the dark. That's that's fine. You know, I don't have a problem with that. Okay, this is getting ridiculous. Are you going to keep me walking in this smoggy maze until I'm 84? 84? All right, no, just 85. I look like a fucking idiot. If I'm supposed to learn a deep, dark secret or whatever, at least give me a sign. Uh, what? A different kind of sign? Fog is kind of overrated. No, I love Silent Hill, guys. Oh my god. You're... Why are you uh, still here? Uh, uh, you talking, Crow? Excuse me. Why are you still here? Oh, I don't like that one. What? Do you mean? Why? Don't get angry at me. I'm just stupid. Uh. Why? Why? Uh, why? Why? Oh, yeah, why? Yeah. why? Why? <laughs> Stop! I can't. I can't leave. I mean, it's very nice here, and I like Crow. Wait, what? Scratch that. I really like Crow. He. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, of course I miss my home and I want to go back eventually, but, well, the bus won't even come until all the snow is removed anyway, so I don't really have a choice. <sighs> Why am I talking to a crow? Not sure what I expected. I cannot be trusted. Oh? Come again? He cannot be trusted. Yo? Hey, yo. He cannot be trusted. He cannot be trusted. He cannot be trusted. He cannot be trusted. Lies. All lies. Uh. Oh, what a nightmare. Oh my god, that nightmare tried to ruin my gay romance. Bunny picture. Wardrobe. Cozy bed. The wooden texture of the walls. I'm awake. I think he can be trusted. Me too. Finally awake. God. Cover my face in my hands. What the hell was that dream? I it wasn't that bad of a dream. I've had my nightmares are a lot worse than that. Is that really that bad? Did that really happen? Like actually? No, it was a dream. You said it yourself. Well, shit. I wipe my forehead with the back of my hand. Ugh, I'm all sweaty. Uh, better take a shower. Think he's got a working pipe in pipe system? I guess so. <laughs> all right. Nice. Whew, I really needed that. Can't believe I actually managed to sleep through breakfast. Again. Even after seeing that weird bird and all. It looked just like the one from yesterday. Did crows always have red eyes? Uh, Aspen? Y yeah? Oh, thank God. I went to wake you up, but you weren't in your room. So I thought maybe I would find you here. Ah, uh, sorry, I wanted to take a shower. How big is this house if you didn't hear me shower, bro? Did you need to use the bathroom? I'm almost done changing. Don't worry about it. I just wanted to let you know lunch is almost ready. Awesome. Not gonna lie, I'm actually looking forward to it. I really love your cooking. Crow? Uh... <laughs> yeah, sorry. You, you just caught me off guard. Thank you. I'm so glad to hear that. I... I wouldn't mind cooking for you for the rest of my life. Oh, oh God. Bro. <laughs> God, no! Stop, man. Why does he do that? Why does he just whisper these weird things? Wait, let, does it... What? Damn it. Nothing. Wait, wait. Can we, can we replay it? I wouldn't mind cooking for you for the rest of my life. I... I wouldn't mind cooking for you for the rest of my life. <laughs> dude, why did he whisper? He's so creepy, dude. <laughs> Don't say that under your breath, man. <laughs> Invite him to shower. He's trying to seduce me. Okay, it's working on the chat instead. Hello, Music Girl 2023. How you doing today? What? 
Nothing. Just talking to myself. Ha 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 ha. I'll wait for you in the living room. All right. Hey, everybody, it's a hydrate check. Make sure you got some water on you. Crow's footsteps get farther away until the sounds fade into the distance. Well, thankfully, it's not awkward between us anymore. I think. Eh, whatever. After getting dressed and drying my hair with a towel, I make my way to the living room. Less than five minutes later, Crow arrives with the usual food tray. Places it on the table. All done. Help yourself, Snowflake. The comforting smell of stew makes its way up to my nose. Filled with veggies, meat, rosemary, and mouth-watering broth. Time to dig in. Oh my gosh, what is this? It's so chewy and rich. Wait, ch chewy. I've never had this type of meat before. Wait, chewy. What do you mean chewy? What, do you not stew it properly? It's venison. Venison? Holy! Okay, gotta be honest here. Never thought venison meat was something I'd try. Ever. It's human. It's fucking human. It's human? Fat Kerm? You know what I'm talking about. It's human meat. It's literally human meat. And yet here we are. <laughs> and yet here we are indeed. Do you like it? Oh, hell yeah. Excellent. I chew and savor every mouthful of the stew until only a few drops are left. But we don't waste food in Aspen land, so I dip a piece of bread and clean the rest of the bowl with it. Nice. True. You really don't miss, huh? Everything was great as always. <laughs> It's my pleasure. Besides, you always look so happy when you eat my food. It makes it all worth it. Oh god, seriously? That's a bit embarrassing. But I guess it's no wonder. Good food does make me smile. Oh, excuse me. Indeed. Indeed. Indubitously. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I, I don't know why the fuck I said that. <laughs> sorry. It's every time I hear indeed. Hmm? What is it? Ah, don't tell me. I have food on my face, don't I? I'm a fucking slob. Huh? No, it's... I grab a napkin from the food tray and vigorously wipe my mouth. Did I get it? Crow doesn't answer. He brings a hand to my cheek instead. <gasps> Slap his hand away. Hold his hand when it touches your cheek. Stay still and close your eyes. What do we do, chat? What do I do? Slap his hand away? Slap his hand away? I'm gonna save. Oh, this is, what do I do? Chat, what do you, What should I do? Ooh, ooh, what should I do? More cannibalism? I feel like every game has cannibalism in it now, right? Close your eyes and let him do his job. Well, he already did this once. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Could it be? feel his thumb touch my cheek right below, right below my eye until... Ah! Uh, he removes his hand. Huh? Hmm. There. Got it. Sorry about that. You had an eyelash on your face. Oh. Hmm? Huh? Hmm? What is it? Ah, uh, perhaps? Were you expecting something else? Who? Me? No! Perish the thought. I was. I'm a whore. I'm a slut. I was ready for it. Holy shit, I really was. I see. I see. Yeah, I wouldn't believe me either. Anyway, I actually wanted to ask you something, Crow. Do you think we could go outside again today? I know it's not that early anymore, but... I have to make sure I properly store everything we harvested yesterday. It's important that it's well-preserved so it lasts longer. Oh. You mean the chaga and pine needles? Precisely. Though it's a shame we couldn't find any wintergreen berries, after all. In any case, why don't you help me? I'll teach you how to make chaga powder. And if you want, I can show you how to make one of my herbal medicines, too. I want you to do a lot more than that right now, Crow. We're trying real hard to get more. Chat wants it, okay? And chat gets what they want sometimes. Sometimes. What do you say? I got chilly. <laughs> why is he avoiding the question? Could have just said it'll get dark soon and we can go outside tomorrow. But he suddenly changed the subject. Aspen? 
Fine. I'll concede. For now. But you bet your ass I'll ask again, crow boy. I can be very persistent when I want to be. Sorry, I got distracted for a second. Sure, let's do it. Sounds like fun. Alrighty. Let's get the chog up from the kitchen, shall we? Well, maybe we still get to go outside, you know? Maybe we still do. Crow opens one of the upper cabinets, takes out a coffee grinder. Puts it on the counter. Wait, we're not going to use a mortar and pestle? That's not a bad guess, actually. We're definitely going to use them for making herbal medicine later. For the powder, though, chaga mushroom is a bit lumpy and much too big for a mortar, so we'll use the grinder instead. Oh, that makes sense. Once we both wash up, we use our hands to break the chaga into small pieces so that they fit better inside the grinder. Oh. Oh, it's not like a hand grinder? And thus, the powder is born. This is so cool. <laughs> I'm glad you're having fun. What should we do with the pine needles? Don't worry about it. I made sure to put a couple bags in the freezer yesterday. The rest are being dried on a piece of cloth, but it'll take a few days, so... Then why did he say he needed to store the pine needles if he had already... You know what? Forget it. Let's see where this goes. We can make the medicine, right? Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. What are we making? Hmm. I think a poultice would be good. It's pretty easy to make. It only needs a few ingredients. Oh, that's like a skin remedy, isn't it? Yes, exactly. The kitchen counter is a bit small for us both, though. We should take everything to the living room. Sure thing. <laughs> They're making cocaine. Making bitter-ass cocaine. Crow grabs a handful of herbs, a roundish container of clay powder, and a knife, while I take the mortar and pestle, a cup of boiling water, and a small bottle of lavender oil. You should be careful with that cup, right. of, a cup of boiling water, man. I mean, this guy has got patches on his coat. He doesn't have the internet. He never went to school. My God. If he's not a crack scientist, I, I don't know what who is, man. He didn't... He wears his diploma. This guy's crazy. Alrighty. Let's start with the herbs. Definitely a drug lord. Lives by himself off the grid. No cops around. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. I'm just saying... With incredible precision, Crow wastes no time in cutting all the leaves. Reminds me of whenever he cuts veggies for the meals he prepares. When he's done, he puts them inside the mortar. Wait, what? Look at this guy. Look at this dude! Mortar and pestle in a way. Damn. Okay, put some water on top of the herbs. Yeah, sure. How's this? Excellent. Smiley face. Look at this little... Look at this little guy, man. Why he got them fangs? It's true. Why he got them fangs? What, what is this? All right, Hungary ball. Okay, like I said earlier, not trying to commit any stereotypes, okay? Excellent. Crow's hand makes semicircular motions as he keeps grinding the wet leaves for several minutes. At some point, he asked me to add a few drops of lavender oil and a teaspoon of clay powder to the mixture. The final result is a green and creamy paste similar to pesto sauce. I spent a couple of hours making a number of poultices, creams, and ointments so that there's a hefty reserve in case of emergencies. I give Crow the last of the empty containers and he pours the herbal ointment inside of it with the help of the pestle. All done. Yep. All done. Thanks for lending a hand. No worries. It was an interesting learning experience. Wonderful. Like a kitten who just woke up from a long nap, Crow stretches his limbs for a few seconds, then starts putting all the dirty dishes away, including those from today's lunch. Oh, can I? I interrupt myself when I notice the window. It's already dark. Sorry, did you say something? I was a bit distracted putting everything on the tray. Hydrate, hydrate. Crow, do you think we can go outside tomorrow? And please, don't avoid my question like you did this afternoon. Oh, he fucking called him out on it, too. Why? Huh? We just went yesterday, didn't we? And harvested plenty of things at that. I don't see why we should do it again if we don't need to. 
I mean, it did take a while to find the chaga mushroom and walking towards the side of the forest that had non-poisonous pine needle trees. But I don't think we really harvested that much. Still, he's probably going to make another excuse if I point this out. We need a different approach. <sighs> Look, if this is about your car... It's not. Well, it's not only about my car. Apart from plants, you also study animals, don't you? Yes. I want to do that too. You see, I happened to see a crow yesterday. <gasps> For a moment, I swear I see his right eye twitch. <laughs> But so quick and imperceptible, that's is as if it had never happened. He just full-on winks with his right eye. Huh. Imperceptible. <laughs> okay, and what about it? God, he's really not budging, is he? Can't help but feel that crow is important. But let's not mention it, it had red eyes, just in case. It reminded me that you were researching their habits and stuff. Can we go out in the morning to see if we find any crows? Staying inside all the time is starting to, make, starting to feel suffocating. Plus... It was you who said there are things we have to see for ourselves, right? He's in... He, his crow's the X. <sighs> the the crow's is X, okay? Look, Aspen. I know that's what I said a few days ago, but... I'm actually a quack. I just got this on Amazon, okay? I'm not actually a researcher. I'm just some freak out in the woods making tea with mushrooms that taste terrible. <laughs> never mind, never mind. He didn't say that. But it's not that simple. The weather here is really unpredictable this time of the year. In fact, it's extremely likely that there will be another blizzard soon. What? In the meantime, I can give you a book on crows if you want to learn more about them. And if you're feeling suffocated, I can always open up one of the windows, but we really shouldn't be going outside. It's not safe. It's not safe. He cannot be trusted. Da dum. I have to go back home today. I still have to go back home eventually. <laughs> the moment those words came out of my mouth, his expression pulled a 180. Why are you so persistent? Hey, hey, yo, what? What's going on, man? What's why are you so upset? <laughs> the music. Do you really want to freeze to death? Is that it? Uh, yeah. Are you that stupid? Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no, you didn't. <laughs> oh, no, you didn't. Now, wait a goddamn minute here, you fucking lettuce. Marimo. Who the hell do you think you are, Mosshead? I'm someone who knows the dangers and implications of what you want to do. I'm someone with fucking common sense. Something that you clearly don't have. Wow, are we having our first fight right now? Well, fuck this. Fuck you. I'm not going to sit around here talking to a pig-headed imbecile who thinks he knows what's best for me better than myself. Then maybe you should leave tomorrow morning. Maybe I will. Fine. Fine. With the conversation clearly over, I storm off all the way to my room. <laughs> Ugh, it makes me so angry. I scream into the bed pillow and kick my legs on the mattress. <laughs> that was my girliest scream I can do. <laughs> Sorry, chat. What the hell is his problem? He can't tell me what to do. I'm a fucking adult. He doesn't own me. And I do have common sense. <laughs> Probably. <sighs> I can't deny that he did seem worried, but... Why wouldn't he tell me anything? Crow. What are you hiding? What are you hiding? Day 5. All right, all right. I think I don't know how many days this is. Is this five, five nights at Crows? Morning already, huh? I yawn and stretch out my limbs. <laughs> Didn't even change my clothes to go to sleep yesterday. The fight must have exhausted me. I still don't think the crux of what I was saying was wrong. If Crow reacted like that, then he really is hiding something. But, well, it could be worse. If he wanted to murder me, I think he would have done so already. How do you know that? 
Unless he's secretly like the witch from Hansel and Gretel. Ha <laughs> ha. Huh. Huh. Let me just taste this counter for a second. Oh, it's not it's not candy. We're good. Yeah, let's not think about that. Anyway. Good or bad. I don't want to jump to conclusions before actually knowing what the heck is going on. Just grab a knife, just in case, okay? And for that, I need more information. Once I change my clothes, I go wash up in the bathroom. I make sure to splash my face with a good amount of water. I need to be fully awake for once. I'm not reading what Chad just said, but... Alright. Ironically, though, this morning is the earliest I've been awake since forever. Crow could still be sleeping. Should I... Make breakfast for once? Sure, why not? Kind of want to see his reaction. Alright, actual good guest moment? Crow's not here. Okay, he's definitely sleeping then. Well, guess it's cooking time. Hmm, no human flesh in the fridge. We're gonna have to stock up. No, never mind, never mind, I'm sorry. Alright, it's done. Mission complete. Once I finish cleaning everything up, I look at my creation placed on upon a couple of ceramic plates. I don't think I'm a bad cook. Well, maybe decent is more accurate, but it's been a while since I made these. Hope they're edible at least. Let them cook! To be honest, I'd like to investigate the cabin a bit more, but I shouldn't take any unnecessary risks right now. Crow could wake up at any moment. And no matter how hospitable he is, there's a difference between making yourself at home and snooping around for clues. Nah, just join the Scooby gang. The mystery gang. He's not an idiot. I'm perceptive to boot. I shake my head and look in the direction of the kitchen door. Time to go look for him. Whoa, there's a lot of doors in here. Okay, since you didn't come to the kitchen yet, you must be washing up. They saw you. Wait, what? Crow. That came from the living room, didn't it? Who is he talking to? As quietly as possible, I tiptoe across the hallway until I'm right next to the living room entrance. He's talking to those animals that do his peer-reviewed studies. Yeah, this is how you know he's a hack. Not a real scientist. He's just crazy and talks to animals. The voices are definitely coming from the other side. I gulp. My hand touches the handle and ever so slightly begins to open the door. The window's open. That's unusual. Wait, what the? Is that... Is that a crow? Crow. That's why I keep telling you to leave it all to me. What's the point if you show yourself? It makes everything more complicated. Yeah. Aspen isn't stupid. They already suspect something is going on. Something strange is going on. I would not have made an appearance uh. if you weren't taking so long. This is the first time this has happened. He's gonna feed me to the crows. At this rate, I'm going to have to visit their dreams again. What the fuck? What the hell did you just say? Uh. Uh, his face twists into a deep glare, one I've never seen before. Again? Are you fucking kidding me right now? You know about the magical crow? Did I stutter? <laughs> Yo, the, the crow with some sass on his ass? Dude, what the... Tell me one reason why I shouldn't kill you. What? Because of the blood pact. Uh, because of the blood pact. Uh, uh what? What blood pact? Are we... You doing magic out here? Some witch trials out here, buddy? Buddy old pal? <laughs> Are you serious, right? Meow? You're lucky you look like that. What? Uh, what was that noise? Shit. A step away faster than a freaking blue hedgehog. Sonic. By the way, Sonic. These damn creaky wooden doors. No think. Only run. No think. Only run. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Please tell me I didn't completely screw up just now. Uh... Aspen? Okay, you've got this. Act natural. Da da ba do. Crow enters the kitchen and approaches me. Crow, buddy, fancy seeing you here. Uh, wipes hair. Uh, whips hair to the, the the right. Fancy seeing you here. What the fuck am I talking about? This is his home. Of course he would be here. 
Uh, I mean, good morning. Good, good morning? Kill me now. This is the complete opposite of acting natural. Quick, find something to get out of this awkward conversation. Spot my culinary creation not that far away from me. Oh, right. That's why I went to look for him in the first place. Uh, I made breakfast. Huh? What? I grab one of the plates and show it to him. Uh, you made pancakes. They're not as good as yours, so don't expect- don't set your expectations too high. One, two, three, four, five pancakes. Five pancakes with blood! No, they're cranberries, I think. Pancakes? Y yeah, <laughs> Hopefully they taste okay. I was gonna use honey at first, but I've seen you eat lots of fruit these days, so I thought I'd change it up a little and use cranberry jam and Once again, you were disappointing me. Where's the maple syrup, bro? Where's the maple syrup? Who's eating these pancakes without maple syrup? Come on. Come on. It hurts my soul, man. Come on, as a Canadian, it hurts my soul that there's no fucking syrup on these pancakes. Come on now. Cranberry jam. Get that shit out of here. I'm gonna be dry as fuck. I... Did you get up early to make these for me? Something like that. Ah. Ooh, woo. Can I try them? Go ahead. Crow picks up a fork and cuts a little piece. Wow, they're so good. R really? Yes. You're just saying that. I'm not. Did you try them? Not yet. They're just delicious. <laughs> Wait one second, I just got a text. Oh no, I don't care about that. Uh, spam text from some spam easy shit. Oh, whatever. Eat those dry house pancakes, boy. Crow cuts another piece and puts the fork in my mouth. I didn't expect him, expect him to feed me himself. Wait, why am I getting embarrassed by this? I'm not a high school anime girl. Or am I? Ooh woo. Hmm? Well, it's good. <laughs> Isn't it? Not as good as his pancakes, though. I'll make some mint tea to go with these. Why don't you wait for me in the living room? No, I'm not reading shit. I guess the crow he was talking to already left. Sure. I'm about to head out when crow touches my shoulder. Uh... Also... I'd like to talk about what happened yesterday. Would that be okay with you? No. Yes. I want to talk to you too. Thank you. Thank you. See you in a bit then. And nod and turn around. <laughs> the window's closed again. The crow closed it. Move towards it and try to open it. Oh, it won't budge. He's locked the doors. He's locked it. This is not a good sign. Either this is fine, or my arms are too damn weak. It's one thing to dream about a bird speaking to you. It's another thing entirely have that same bird confirm they appeared in your dream. I'm not delusional. Something supernatural is clearly going on here. He's, a, he's, not, he's not a scientist. He's a wizard. But what exactly? Ghosts? Demons? Something else entirely? Magic. It's wizards, Harry. Come on. Huh. <sighs> As I've done a few times already these past few days, I take a look at Crow's collection of books. I don't see the red one I took a glance at the other day. Crow must have moved it to his room to keep working on it. Maybe to hide it from me as well. Who knows at this point. Sorry to keep you waiting. Ah, uh, no. It's alright. Crow places the usual tray on the wooden table. Soon enough, we both sit down in our respective seats and start eating. Da, da, da. No, awkward silence? Okay. Even though we're sitting in the same place as before, Crow always chooses the one-seat sofa. It feels like we're further apart than ever. Wait, we were always sitting next to each other? That's hilarious. Pancakes might have helped a little, but I guess things are still pretty awkward. Well, it's no wonder with our fight yesterday. And that's not even counting what I witnessed just a few minutes ago. Did you really not notice I was eavesdropping? I'm scared to look up. What if things don't get better? I'm sorry. <gasps> 
I went too far yesterday. It wasn't right. He even went as far as to make breakfast for us and all. To be honest, I'm feeling really ashamed right now. I just... I panicked. Before I could stop myself, I ended up saying hurtful things. I hope you can forgive me, Aspen. Oh, okay. We're gonna save here, boys. We're gonna save, and then we're gonna say... Um... <clears throat> I'm sorry, too. For the record, your lettuce hair is rad as hell, bro. <laughs> Marimo. <laughs> um, okay. Marimo is cool. Zoro's cool as fuck, okay? Thank you for apologizing, Crow. I can't say I wasn't mad, but I didn't fare much better, honestly. I'm sorry, too. Also, for the record... I think your lettuce hair is rad as hell. Lettuce hair? Huh? Aspen! <laughs> you should see your face. I mean it, though. Thank you. If only you trusted me enough to tell me what's bothering you, too. By the way, I, I thought about what you said last night. <gasps> Do you think you could wait a little longer? I promise we'll go outside again. To forage, to study animals, whatever you wish. Truly. The fact that you want to know more about nature, that you're interested in my research, fills me with joy more than I thought it would. But, but the weather really is unpredictable this time of the year. I thought it had let up sooner, however, there's still a very high probability that another blizzard will strike between today and tomorrow. Oh. And that's not even taking into account the scant few hours of light we get. Winter days are already short, but in this area, they are even shorter. I just want to make sure you're safe. Outdoor sex? <laughs> there it is again. Being safe. Safe from what? Because it sure doesn't feel like he's only talking about the blizzard. Then, the bus won't be available the day after tomorrow? <sighs> I'm sorry. It doesn't say anything else. I'm not sure what, what to say either. What is there to say? I can't even contact anyone because there's no reception, let alone internet. Is there really nothing I can do? The crows. They're, they're going to swarm outside if we step outside. No, there is something. Crow, do you think you could lend me a, that book you told me about yesterday? Yesterday? Oh, you mean the book on crows? That's the one. Of course, but... Are you okay? Can't say I am, no. I'm, pretty, I'm honestly pretty shocked right now. Uh. Uh, <laughs> what am I saying? Of course you're not fine. That was a stupid question. Still moping about, won't it, it won't help me. So I'd like to use this time to learn something instead. You're seriously amazing. What? Uh... No, no, nothing! Let me get you that book. Crow walks towards the bookshelf and takes out a grayish hardcover without hesitation. He wasn't kidding when he said he could tell them apart. Here you go, Snowflake. I hope you find it interesting. Oh, don't worry. I will. Thank you. I hug the book to my chest. They make a slight face and bend over, bringing a hand to my stomach. Well, Aspen? Oh god, are you alright? Do you feel sick right now? Uh -huh. <laughs> I guess I'm not feeling too hot. Sorry, I think I'll rest in my room for the day. Uh, of, of course, do you need any medicine? No, no, I'm okay. Just need to take it easy. Alright, please tell me if you need anything, okay? Acknowledge you guys more often. Never! I will. Thank you, Crow. Phew. Okay. I think that went well. I hope. As soon as I take my shoes off to climb on the bed and make myself comfortable, I pull the book on my lap and turn the first page. A study in crows. Intelligent, adaptable, and self-aware. Time to learn about crows. Corvus, an especially well-known genus, composed of medium to large-sized birds, which make up a... Uh, Corvidae family, the most commonly known, include raven, rooks, and crows. While 133 species of Corvidae have been discovered to this day, only around 49 are included inside the Corvus taxonomy. Going even further than that, there are approximately 36 of these species which belong to the crow family alone. Holy shit, 36?! That's... Wow, I didn't think there were that many variants. I'm dying. 
I'm dying faster than the people in my basement who are starving. Crows are passerine songbirds, which are generally black in color, although exceptions have been witnessed when it comes to different species. I don't have anyone down there, by the way. It's just one dude living in my walls. This also applies to their sizes as well as the color of their eyes. Huh. Interesting. Black. Please don't say that. Please don't call me that. It's just clock. It's clock to you guys. Next several pages contain a detailed classification of the 30-something species of crows up to date. These include their scientific names and a group of several drawings, most probably drawn by Crow himself, portraying their appearance. Black eyes, white eyes. Come on, there's got to be one with... Here! White-necked crow. Overall appearance is black with a few white feathers on the base of their necks, though rarely visible. I'm not mad, I, I just... I'm just reading this. This is kind of boring. Their eyes are a distinctive crimson red. No, this isn't it. This isn't it at all. It's completely different from the one I saw that day and the one in my dream. If anything, the most similar of them all has to be the carrion crow, but those have black eyes. Is it a new species then? Or, well, it is talking, so... Is it not even a crow? There's no other way. To get the answers I want, to get the answers I need, I have to go outside. No, not outside! Find that red eyed crow. Okay, day six. Well, we're day we're past day five. How many days are there, man? I didn't think the game would be this long, honestly. Like to not even get one ending, you know what I mean? Six thirty a.m. Put my phone back in my jacket's pocket. Last once over. Backpack? Check. Water bottle and snacks? Check. Knife? Check. Good that you have a knife. Gloves? Slip one of my thumbs out of the warm cover enveloping my hands and caress the wool fabric. Check. Okay, I have everything. Thank God I asked Crow yesterday to open this window a little bit so I could get some fresh air during dinner. Now I know how this damn thing works. Can't leave through the front door after all. Probably has the keys in his room, and I'm not risking waking him up. Honestly, I wish I could have left my room, left from my room's window, but that fucking thing is sturdier than a rock. Mistakes were made. We're out. We're escaping, boys. We're getting out. We're running away. All right, let's do this. Leroy, sorry, better be quick. No, we're leaving without the sex. I'm getting the hell out of there. Nailed it. No time to dawdle, though. Only got a few hours until it gets dark again. First things first, I need to find my car. I like that face a lot. Uh, it's so... quiet. Too quiet. I can't help but feel some kind of... unsettling presence in the air. Am I being too paranoid? Yes. Don't worry about it. Just get to the car. Ugh. How much longer until I find at least something? This feels too much like the first day I got here. There really isn't anything but snow and big-ass trees. No! That's... The moment I arrived near the road, I spot a white metallic sheen that's all too familiar for me to mistake it. My car! Ah! Ugh. What the fuck? What was that? What? What? What the fuck? Try approaching my car a second time for good measure. But the moment my foot gets near the wheels, I'm sent flying to the ground once again? Tie your shoes, bro? What the hell's going on? Uh. Uh. Chat? Why, why'd you say that? Don't say that. Please, no. Okay. Careful now. Unlike the first two attempts, I only try to put a hand near whatever the hell is preventing me from reaching my wheeled companion. Yeah, we're cooking. I don't fall this time. But there's definitely something there. Something like a force field of some sort. Oh my god, he really is a wizard! Well, if anything, this proves that there are paranormal things at play even more. Uh, crouch down to hug my knees and bury my head between them. What do I do? What can I do? 
How the hell do you defeat the supernatural? I should look for that crow. Even though my eyes are still closed, I shut them even tighter and squeeze my arms with my hands. Like a silly ritual to brace myself. It's gonna be right there, isn't he? No, never mind. Huh? Once I'm back on my feet, I spot an odd line in the snow between my feet and the car. A line I hadn't noticed before. What the? Is this the line of the force field? One second. One second, my cat's yelling at me. Okay. I glance both my left and right. Trail in the snow keeps going farther and farther. Guess there's no way around it. Bros, I, I drank so much water. I have to pee now. Coming. I want to make it to one ending at least, please. Step by step, I follow the line until, not that far from where I was walking, a reddish stain brings me to a dead stop. Is that dirt? No, that's blood, my friend. No, it's too red to be dirt. I move faster. Then I see it. <sighs> this. Wasn't here before. Ah, it's a cult! A strange symbol is carved in the snow. Perhaps a snowflake. Perhaps a star being pierced by arrows. <laughs> Alright, chill out. It's a star. Or it's a snowflake. It's disturbing all the same. The center looks like an open eye. The hue that's ingrained in its line makes them look like veins. It's unmistakable. It's unsettling. <laughs> and it chills me to my core. Blood. Ah! The mysterious crow flaps his wings and lands right in front of me, putting himself between me and the symbol. Aw, oh, we're a blood sacrifice. He stares. He stares so deeply into my eyes that I feel a shiver coming. You can't leave. Oh, thanks. Oh, really? Yeah, I kind of already figured. That's what I like to say, but this isn't the time to be sarcastic. Why? Well, at least he took it quick. The crow glances at the symbol, then back at me. He, he won't let you. I don't need to ask him who he's talking about. But what if I just kick out the symbol? What if I just cross it out? Still, this bird is no saint either, even if he is a bird after all. Crow seemed to imply that he looked like one. I also haven't forgotten what he told Crow yesterday. He's a liar. <laughs> Can you read my thoughts right now? Why? Pauses. Considers my question for a moment. And he plucks the feathers on his head on his back. Uh, the feathers on his back, or pretends to do so. Crow's eyes are on the symbol yet again. There is something he hopes to achieve. I see. Okay. Get rid of the symbol. Crow looks puzzled when I open my backpack. Don't know if this will work, but it's the best I've got. Hope there's at least some bird instinct inside of him. Granola bar? If you tell me what he's hiding, I'll give you one whole granola bar. Are you mocking me, human? Yeah, I don't think he's uh I don't think he's a bird, man. Uh, human, eh? You think I would fall for such a stupid bribe? A bribe? Perish the thought! Yes, this is a fucking bribe, and you better fucking fall for it, you cryptic crooked beak. I can see the granola bars reflected in his eyes. He's tempted. Very attempted. But not entirely convinced. Oh, come on. Don't get your feathers in a twist. I'm just sharing a snack with a very smart bird who warned me about imminent danger is all. One is not enough. <laughs> One is not enough. This fucking bird, man. Okay, okay, I'll give you both granola bars. Happy now? Without answering, the crow pulls out the bars from my hands with such vigor that he tears my glove. Ugh. The sting in my palm makes me bring my hand close to my face. What did he do? How big is this crow, man? What? What? Figures. Stupid, boar, stupid bird tore my skin. God, it's like you've never eaten before. When I look back at him, he's already licking the crumbs from his beak. How big is this crow that he ate two granola bars and broke my hand or some shit? Not just the crumbs. A small drop of my blood seems to have made it to his mouth as well. Still not enough. Um, what did you just say? He turns his head and his neck in my direction. I gulp and step back. Behind the cabin. Huh? 
Go further beyond the cabin, then head straight. Ah. Uh. You will find your answers there. Wait. Ah. Jeez, you. Huh? He wants feet picks too. <laughs> he wants feet picks too, the crow. Symbol's gone. Why does that make me uneasy? Can't say I fully trust the bird either, but I don't have any other leads. Fucking weird ass bird, man. Why wouldn't you try at least getting rid of the symbol, okay? At least that much. Maybe the force field would go down. That's how video game logic works, okay? There it is again. What is this feeling? Like I'm being watched. Stalked. It's as if someone or something was watching me. <sighs> uh, please. Get to an ending. <laughs> Damn. It's getting darker. There's a bunch of clouds, too. I should hurry up. Crouching down as much as possible in order to avoid the windows. Better be safe than sorry. I move forward in slow but steady steps until the cabin's far enough for me to walk at a slower, quicker pace. <laughs> what? What the heck is this? Yeah, I think he was lying. Wow. When he, I think he was lying. I think he was lying. A huge mass of decayed wood surrounds the area. Yo, thanks for the, the follow, Twisted Freak Show. <laughs> nice name. A huge mass of decayed wood surrounds the area. Everything is gloomy and hushed. Disturbing. <laughs> yeah, true. Small, decrepit houses that look like they haven't been inhabited in decades. Traces of what once was a wide ranging crop farm. Eerie, soulless, obscure. Abandoned. The light is gone. A ghost town. The thing behind Crow's log cabin is a literal ghost town. It's pretty much impossible to let go of the shock and utter disbelief I'm feeling right now. But my eyes start adjusting to the scene nonetheless. So he lied to us about living in a town. <laughs> Thanks for the yeah, no worries. Hope you enjoy your time here. Wait, is that? What I initially thought was a piece of broken wood from one of the vacant houses now starts to look more and more like a crooked sign. Though the words are somewhat faded, no wonder. The sign is pretty much ancient. They are still distinguishable. Let's see what it says. Oh, is this his old town? Important notice! Danger zone. Do not enter. Due to a long bout of unprecedented winter weather, this area has been closed off to the public. By unanimous decision of the Sedarian government, an agricultural and urban expansion has been improved in order to migrate the farmsteads from the village formerly known as Leyden Spring, now Winter Hollow, to the town of Veritas Falls. So this is Winter Hollow, where he said he grew up. Veritas Falls. We apologize for the inconvenience. Thank you for understanding. All right, no. Stop scaring people. God. Oh my God. Oh my fucking God. How the flying fuck did I end up in a place like this? Is this a demon zone? Hell. Is Crow even human? Did I piss someone off in a, plas in a past life or something? What? You've got to be shitting me. If I speak to you soon one more time, I swear I'm going to punch myself. Repeatedly. Nah. Nah, it's fine. Thank the fucking heavens that it's so close by. Demon, vampire, alien, whatever the hell. I'll die frozen now if I don't get in the cabin ASAP. Dignity and plan B can wait. I run as hard as I can and head to the outside of the living room window. I'm prepared this time. I'm not going to pass out in the snowstorm. Unless he cool reforms you. Ah! Drug me up, bro. Ah! Wait, wait, what just happened? I think I saw something. Wait, did you see something, like, really quick? Ah! Oh no, never mind. Current of air is so strong that I almost fall face first into the room. Go inside, and once I manage to make the window panes meet, I lean my whole weight into the glass. Just a little more. He's gonna freak out. He's gonna be like, What's going on, man? <sighs> Finally. Damn, you strong ass wind. Fucking windy! Where's Crow? I'm horrible. I told you a blizzard was coming. Oh, he's pissed. I told you again and again. 
All right, bro. It's a fucking blizzard, man. It's not. It's not like a fucking bear out there or something. Jesus. Dude, I, I walk all the time in the blizzard. Every time there's a blizzard, you think people just stop their lives, bro? And you didn't listen. Yeah, I'm my own person. I'm my own person, crow. Ah. Hey, yo. No, kith. Hey, yo. Now, kith. Gro grabs my wrist and pins me against the wall. Hey, yo. Why? Why don't you ever listen to me? I know me? he's angry at me, but like, what the fuck is going on? Oh, no. He's hot. <laughs> Why are you so desperate to go outside? Have I not been kind to you? Fed you? Given you a place to stay? Why? What? Why do you want to leave me so bad? <laughs> well, you know, he's just, I mean, I mean, I got my own life, man. You know, I don't know. You know, you never made a move on me, so I just thought we were awkwardly sitting here together. You're hurting me. Oh, uh, I'm hurting you? <laughs> He's like, you hurt me. You hurt my feelings! <laughs> anyway, that's a good one, too. That's a good screenshot right there. Give me a second. Just right there. Screenshot. Yeah? Okay. Just click a second. <laughs> that's rich. Fantastic. Just great. What about when you left without saying anything? Uh, well, you know, I just, I had to go. I had to leave. to my face, thinking I wouldn't notice. Oh, I thought How you wouldn't you notice. How do you think that made me feel? Good, 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 good question mark. I'm hurting you. What about what you've done to me? What about what I feel? Am I really not enough? Do you hate me that much? No. Maybe. Maybe. Answer me! What do I have to do for you to stay? <laughs> Whoa! Well, definitely not this, bro. You gotta get rid of your attachment issues? God, man. Oh my god. I can feel his hands trembling on my wrists. Release myself from his grasp and take a few steps back. Crow. Stop trying to manipulate me! Whoa, MC! Relationships shouldn't be built on lies. Yeah, relationships shouldn't be built on lies. You said I lied to you before, didn't you? Well, I'll cut to the chase. You're right, I did lie. But so have you. You have lied to me many, many times. About Winter Hollow being in an inhabited village. About a bus ever coming by. About what the real danger I'm facing in this place is. Because I think it's less about the weather, more about the chit-chat from a certain talking bird. <gasps> Crow. Relationships shouldn't be built on lies. I... If you really, truly care about me, tell me what's going on. Oh, whoop, whoops. I need to think. Runs away. <laughs> Honestly, so do I. You need to leave, Aspen. I take off my jacket and carry on my arm. You didn't seem too worried about me about leaving me alone just now. Well, not like I can leave anyway with the hellish snowstorm outside. Ah. <sighs> Better head to my room. That wasn't an option, okay. The symbol I saw today. Crow with red eyes. Crow himself. There's no doubt about it. The key to leaving Winter Hollow is connected to these three. I'll have to confront this situation head on if I want to escape. Whatever happens, I will find a way out. I will survive. Hmm. I was supposed to get a call today. But I didn't get it. Weird. Good night, chat. Hey, have a good night if it's your good night. Figures I couldn't sleep. Well, who can blame me with how action-packed yesterday was? Scratch that. With how action-packed this whole week has been. Yeah, sure, he needs internet. If he had internet, then it'd be perfect. Internet and a computer, perfect. A lot has happened in a very short time. But what surprises me the most is... Myself. I mean, normally people would be scared and put off by Crow. This whole situation, right? Especially, yeah, yeah, for sure they wouldn't be attracted to him. Especially given how much he's live. 
He even pushed me against a wall yesterday. Who's to say he won't even go further? Yeah, what if he like took my shirt off or something? Ugh. And yet, I didn't mind. I didn't mind it one bit. He's showing me his true self. Or well, the part of himself that he didn't want to show rather. Because I wouldn't say he's never been genuine. I was more worried about him sh kicking me out if I discovered all of his secrets in his relationship with the red-eyed crow. What if he pushed me against the wall and then kissed me? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I was more hurt by the fact that he didn't trust me, lied to me even, than I was about the subject of the lie itself. What is this? Why do I have such strong feelings for him when it's only been a week since I met him? I've known other people for far, far longer, but I've never felt this kind of connection with anyone else. Ah, <sighs> I must be crazy. I was crazy once. Locked me in a room. A rubber room. A rubber room with rats. <gasps> Aspen, are you awake? I am. God, I'm so glad you answered. Yes, indeedy. Not much of a point in pretending I'm not here, right? <laughs> Could you be any more awkward, Aspen? You need lessons on socialization skills, pronto. Still, he hasn't left yet, so I'm probably overthinking. Did you want to ask me anything? Look, there's something really important I have to tell you. Yeah, I'll bet. This is about yesterday. In a way. Will you let me ask questions too? Please, please. Uh, of course. He sounds anxious. Wish I could hug him right now. Can you come to my room? We'll talk there. Sure thing. Let me get changed and I'll knock on your door when it's, once I'm ready. Thank you. Snowflake. Uh. Uh. Why am I getting changed? All right, let's do this. Whips out the, whips out the. <laughs> let's go! The sex scene, it's happening. Once I take the clothes I'm gonna wear from the wardrobe, I head to the bathroom for a quick shower. Gotta make sure sure we're squeaky clean and we smell good. Okay, hopefully I didn't take too long. Didn't even wash my hair so I could be faster. Ah, oh, come on, man. Come on. After a couple of minutes of mulling over silly stuff, I knock on the door. Bro? Come in? Keep focusing on your chemistry. The big, the big kids are playing right now. Whoa. Although the room is unfamiliar, I find myself comforted by the coziness of the same cabin walls I've already become so familiar with. As expected... Crow's space is full of books and research papers scattered throughout his work desk, shelves, and even the floor. Another crow. The desk also has a cupboard on top filled to the brim with bottles of plants, medicine, creams, and other indistinguishable vessels. What takes me more by surprise, though, are the paintings covering part of the, the wall and the easel lying against the window. Wow, these look amazing! I almost thought they were photos with all that detail. Aspen, please, get back on track. Th thank you. Painting is a hobby of mine. Helps me clear my head and relax, especially when I'm not feeling well. I guess you could call it a kind of meditation. <laughs> it suits you. Do you like drawing too? Very much so. Though I sometimes draw for research purposes too. Makes sense. Your drawings in the crow book were really good. And the crow painting. Take a few steps to give it a closer look. No red eyes. Instead, they're more of a bluish black. Deep and mysti mystic. I love it too. You're an amazing artist, Crow. Thank you. I'll make you one sometime. <laughs> I I'd like that. We stay silent for a few moments. Not sure how to continue the conversation. Now, Kith. Small talk can only get so far, after all. We need to address the elephant in the room. The tension proves to be even too much for me, so I try to break the silence. Cro Sorry. Uh, do you mind if we go get to the topic at hand? We really need to talk. Oh, yeah, for sure. I was about to tell you the same thing, actually. You know who else is a good artist? I do! You know who is? Vinya. The person who posted, posted some fan art to the channel. Join the Discord to see it today. <laughs> okay, wait. I was about to tell you the same thing, actually. Ready when you are. I'm all ears. And if you haven't seen the fan art in the Discord, go there now. Join the Discord today. Go to the fan art channel and uh, 
Leave a like, smiley face, on uh, some fan art. Gro nods and signals me towards the bed while he sits on the desk chair. Once he makes sure I'm comfortable, he takes a deep breath and looks me right in the eye. First things first, is there anything you want to ask? Wait, what? Wait, let me rephrase that. Is there anything you need to ask no matter what? Well, to be honest, there's one thing in particular that I can't get out of my mind. Go ahead. Are you human? Kuro audibly gasps as if that wasn't the question he was expecting. Soon enough, however, the re surprise is re replaced with a sad smile. Yes. And no. That's my turn to gasp. <gasps> Wait, what? How does that work? My body's pretty much the same as any other human being, with some exceptions. What are those? One of them you can probably already guess. Uh, you have lettuce. Lettuce DNA for the lettuce hair. Crow's eyes are very distinctive red, and I doubt it's due to some kind of rare pigmentation. Still, lots of people use color contacts nowadays, so I didn't think much of them. Nobody uses color contacts every day, okay? He's got a huge... No. <laughs> At first, the more I looked into his eyes, though, the more I noticed a certain glow to them. A glow that made me shiver every time I felt his gaze. <laughs> He's got a huge clock. Yeah. So he has got a big clock. You the one watching me when I went outside to meet the red-eyed crow, weren't you? That's right. Well, or more accurately, the bird's eyes were watching you. I can see through the eyes of crows in Winter Hollow. <gasps> Gasp. Okay, wizard. Is that why your eyes are red? Yes. Okay, that's kind of rad, not gonna lie. <laughs> why does your answer not surprise me? What about the other thing? Knowledge. Knowledge about nature. As much as I learn stuff from books, it will never compare to the knowledge I can receive firsthand from the environment itself. Oh no. He really has been sharing his peer. He really has been saying that he has peer reviewed studies because he shared his research with crows. Oh my god. Oh my god, man. He's a hack. Even if there's a deep darkness within it. No, no, no. Crow's mom or dad obviously had a kid with a crow. Okay, that's what makes sense. Even if there's a deep darkness within it. Even if I can't leave the area anymore. Even if I have to enter the darkness myself. I'm willing to make that sacrifice. Uh, why do I feel like there's still something he's not telling me? You heard what I was talking about with the crow the other day, didn't you? I nod. Do you remember what he said? Who could forget something like that? He said you had a blood pact. Exactly. What is that bird anyway? Some kind of demon? There were others like him too. They're red scavengers. Demonic animals who feed on human blood and meat. Oh. Oh, and he's got a taste of my blood. The hairs on the back of my neck stand up. They're not feeding on you, are they? It's me you're worried about? No, Snowflake. They're feeding on other humans. Humans that I've been getting for them whenever they died in the snowstorms. Wait, but that doesn't make sense. You have so much food. Can't they feed on that? I'm afraid my reserves are limited, Aspen. I did get a huge supply when I moved here, though. And I tried to preserve as much as I could in my pantry. I wasn't born in a hunter-gatherer village for nothing. You have a pantry? Wait, no. We can talk about that later. Even so, if you have that many reserves, they could eat... It's not that simple, Snowflake. They need humans to survive. And, as I mentioned before, I can't leave the area. It's part of the blood pact. Are these scavengers some kind of weird vampire ghoul birds? Yes. Yes! Yes! Oh god. Holy shit. Okay, now everything's starting to make sense. That bird, that fucking bird tried to set me up. He tried to make me despise Crow so he could get his gourmet human dinner. Yet, for some reason, Crow was taking too long. You said one of these one of these things they gave you was knowledge of nature. Have you learned anything else apart from what they taught you? Because no matter how almighty they might be with their demo demon powers or whatever, I can't imagine these de this deal being good in the long run. There's only so much nature in Winter Hollow, you know? 
if you can even call it nature nowadays, that is. Eternal winter isn't very typical. And, he, and I imagine even the demon crows are becoming antsy with so few humans passing by. Crow clenches his fists. Doesn't elaborate, but doesn't deny anything either. Why aren't you blaming me? Huh? What do you mean? Please tell me you're joking. Ah, I'm okay with murder. It's all good. Chat knows. YouTube knows. I seriously don't know what you're talking about. I fed humans to demon birds. <laughs> yeah, like I said. I mean, you didn't even do it yourself, really, so it's not even that bad. I was going to do the same with you. Nah, you know, well, you didn't, so we're good. But you didn't. Nah, we're good. Like, jeez. You know how many potential partners in my life have tried to kill me? Like, come on. Come on, as long as he doesn't actually kill me. I mean, come on. Why? Crow bites his lip so hard I can almost taste the iron myself. Why? I'm sure you're already tired of hearing me say this all the time, but the weather in Winter Hollow is very unpredictable. It wasn't always like this. Farmers actually lived here before. What? For real? Yeah, there's houses. That's not that surprising. Every year, they would stay for three whole seasons, then leave before winter even began. Also, their cattle didn't have to withstand the cold. Of course, this was when the weather was actually normal, when the village was still called Laden Spring. Laden Spring, I see. So that sign I saw yesterday was the real deal then. What happened? No one knows. What? But the demon bur- Believe me, I'm not fond of them either. But they're not to blame for the never-ending winter. They're just the reason why I made the pact in the first place. Ah, that's just global warming, friendo. It's okay. Climate change is real. I just couldn't bring myself to leave late in spring. I had to know what was causing this strange weather. How it affected oh. nature. How it possessed other animals to survive under such harsh conditions. But of course... I'm only human. I couldn't possibly risk it to the point where my body would break. I needed something more powerful. That's when I met the Red Scavengers. They never appeared before that? No, that's what's so strange. I knew Laden Spring top to bottom, yet I'd never seen creatures like them. They're strong enough to withstand blizzards. They just don't have the en energy to kill humans or move them around. What? <laughs> so that's why you made the pact. Yes. I never really killed any humans myself, though. The snowstorms did all the work for me. Yeah, see? It's not even that bad. Come on. Come on. It's not that bad. Well, not all the work. There are times the snow covers the corpses so much I have to get a shovel. It's been harder to spot them too lately. I don't know how long these demons can take without eating humans to survive. But if it's been as long as crows implying, they must have been desperate. And me conveniently passing by was the chance they needed. If that's the case, why am I different then? From what I'm getting, it seems that you've been struggling with getting any humans in the area. Why leave me be? I was surprised myself. Huh? You were the only one who asked for help. <laughs> Alright. Well, because they probably all thought the dude in the cabin in the woods was probably a crazy murderer. That, that makes a lot of sense, honestly. You do live in a cabin in the woods by yourself and the outside is all knocked up and patched unbelievable right out of all the people who got stuck here you were the only one who desperately tried to survive well i mean yeah i probably would have murdered you if you didn't let me inside that so me that's cool about you. it made me respect you <laughs> it made me respect you even though you arrived so incredibly unprepared who's got green you lettuce hair and red you could with whatever scarlet you eyes <sighs> Sorry, Yon. Literally got vampire fangs, and he's like, "Why didn't anyone ask me for Why didn't anyone ask me for help, man? Why were they avoiding me? Even though you arrived so incredibly unprepared, you still made everything you could with whatever you had at your disposal." I think he may be giving me too much credit here, but I want to keep listening to him. Yeah, I literally forgot my gloves and walked straight into you a forest. Okay. So amazing! I just had to get to know you. Wow. I ended up being so much more than I could have possibly expected. You want to know why I didn't feed you the red scavengers? You want to know why I didn't care about them anymore? Because I love you. Oh, he said it, chat! He said it! He said the thing! But, but, 
I'll understand if you don't feel the same. Of course. Even taking into account my excuses, we only met about a week ago, all things considered. I don't let him finish that sentence. <laughs> it's a very quick kiss, but it should have conveyed my feelings well enough. <laughs> Crow doesn't say anything. He just stands there in shock. I did not think I would get the happy ending in this one. Red as a cranberry. I don't feel like teasing him right now, though. I'm nervous myself. Well, say something. Am I such a bad kisser? No. No. It's just... Is this really okay with you? Why wouldn't it be? D did you not hear what I said before? You said you love me. I gave you my answer. Ah. <sighs> You'll be the death of me. I really don't care what you did before, Crow. I don't care what you were going to do with me, either. I don't care that we've known each other for very little time. I don't even care if every person in the world thinks we're a couple of deranged maniacs. The only thing I care about is you. I care about you, and I want to be with you, always. Aspen? But no more lying bullshit, or I will seriously punch you in the face. Can't stand being left in the dark. <laughs> God, you're so. Really don't mind that I'm such a crazy bastard? Joke's on you. I'm into that shit. <laughs> Ask me, please! Besides, I'm a crazy bastard myself. Or I will be anyway. Huh? What do you mean? Take me to the red eyed crow. It's time to see. It's time we see eye to eye. No, don't do it. You're gonna have to feed them more! Day, question mark, question mark, question mark? I think we married him. I think this is the marriage ending, guys. Ah, the air feels so crisp and clean. It does, doesn't it? It's the perfect day for a date in the woods. Crow tightens his grip on my hand and I squeeze back. <laughs> oh, you... Don't forget, we've got an errand to take care of first, okay? Then we can enjoy this date as much as we want. We've just got to dig up three bodies for the crows. Fine. I kiss him on the cheek. Feeling bold, aren't we? I'll get you later for that. Oh, whatever do you mean? Crow shakes his finger at me. Tisk tisk. You're going to have to wait until we finish this job, Snowflake. Meanie. <laughs> Yeah, let's go dig up some bodies, baby. Oh, let's go put some spikes on the ground. Woo. After walking for a few minutes, we arrive at the road next to the waking woods. Although the snow has buried part of their bodies, uh, a couple of humans can still be seen lying on the ground. Oh. Hmm. A little less than last time. What, people? You think... Ro oh, I have red eyes! He has the red eyes now. I just realized that, too. You think Rory will be okay with this much? Is the crow's name Rory? Honestly, he has no right to complain after everything you did for him and his siblings. <laughs> oh, don't get mad, Jewel. It's thanks to him that we have internet now. <laughs> Praise the crow gods. They gave us internet. Now Aspen and Crow can look up Mr. Clockworks. Plus, not gonna lie, I think they actually enjoy sitting on the power lines, don't you think? Animal instincts must be true for demons, too. <sighs> the cables are the only thing that's thing that makes sense to me. I still don't understand that wild ride, whatchamacallit, works. Wi-Fi, Crow. Whatever. It's all mumbo-jumbo. What's important is that it gets the job done. And I guess that YouTube stuff isn't bad either. I know, guy! I'm pretty I'm pretty alright sometimes, okay? I'm, I'm okay. Sometimes I'm pretty funny. <laughs> Come on. Give me a little credit. Making all those advertisements wasn't easy, you know. And I promised I'd teach you all I know about the internet. Oh my god, we're just luring people into dying? <laughs> Don't underestimate a freelance graphic designer. That's my passion. Yup, I know. Cups my face with his free hand and gives me a smooch. Hehe. <laughs> okay. How should we deal with the bodies this time? Oh. Let's take off their clothes first. What if Rory ruins them again? I mean, you never know. They might have something useful. Ah, uh, you have such a beautiful mind. How can I be so lucky? 
We're fucking nuts, guys. We're fucking crazy. I was thinking the same thing. Then what are we waiting for? Crow bows and sing signals me to go ahead with one of his hands. After you, Snowflake. Oh, God. No! We're a murderer! Hey, that's pretty all right. <laughs> Wait, is this like a movie? Now we get to see all the CGs we had. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to pick one for my video. Yeah, I didn't get that. I didn't get that. Sex scene. Where went to the crows go? Alright, this is going. You know, I don't think this is a... Uh... I don't think that's copyright friendly. So I'll be right back. I turned off the volume. Sorry, I'll be right back, okay? That's definitely not copyright. credits to the game dev they're pretty awesome sorry no sex scene uh no music either because the music is kind of eh. uh it, it seems pretty fucking copyright to me so i'll be right back The twisted ending. Man, I hope this game isn't full of copyright auto audio. That'd be so sad. <laughs> That's as close to a sex scene as we're getting, by the way. The twisted ending. The twisted nipple ending? That's the next one. Alright. Let's get a big stretch in and let's hunt for some endings. Okay. 
Easiest one I can think of is just go to the last ending. I want you to trust me. What I wish... No, what I want is for you to trust me. Just before you said, I'm a liar, right? You said I was lying, but you haven't been honest yourself. Oh, okay, wait. We can't skip. You tell me what that Winter Hollow is an abandoned village. You didn't tell me that no bus is ever coming by. You didn't tell me about the talking crow. Trust is a two-way street. I... If you want someone to trust you, you have to put trust in them too. Crow. There can't be love without trust. How can I believe you care about me when you won't even tell me what's going on? Okay, skip. So we're going to be skipping now, by the way. Sorry. Un unless it's dialogue we haven't read, we're going to be skipping, okay? Should be able to talk better after we both get some sleep. I'm not going anywhere. I need answers. And once I get them all... Do I actually need to go back home? Ah. Earlier, when I mentioned the talking bird, he reacted. He looked anxious, scared even. Maybe he's worried about how I'm going to react. Where does the blood pact fall in all of this? What does it mean? There has to be something I can do. What if that stupid bird is threatening him to do stuff against his will? I have to make sure Tr Crow trusts me. Whatever happens, I'll make sure he trusts me. Okay, alright, it's a little different. So, day seven. Okay, we'll skip ahead. A lot of skip in here. What, is that just the same ending? I guess that's the same ending. Okay. Hmm. We might have to go further back. Stop trying to manipulate me. What I want is for you to stop manipulating me. I like Crow. I like you, Crow, but you're calling me a liar? When you've been doing the same makes you look like a hypocrite. Farmers living in Winter Hollow? A bus coming by when the snow's been removed? Not to mention the talking bird? <laughs> Are you two in coots? Planning to sacrifice me to the devil or something? No, just to the birds. Aspen. Well, what's wrong? Nothing to say, huh? Why can't you be more honest with me? Okay. This is all the same. Oh, this is all the same. Damn, bro! Come on! So that, that option just didn't matter at all. Extras. So I got the twisted ending. There's two other endings, I guess. Oh, whoops. Mm, let's, uh, let's go back to, let's go back to the beginning. Let's be mean to him. Let's just be fucking mean to him at every route, okay? I'd rather not eat anything right now. Uh. Okay, that's a shame. Wait, what? A shame? Why would it be a shame? I was looking forward to cooking for you. What? This is gonna be the opposite. We're gonna go for him angry. I said that you probably haven't eaten anything since yesterday. He's not wrong, but... It's okay. I actually had a pretty good meal yesterday before getting in my car. Thank you for the offer, though. Like you wouldn't be angry. <laughs> angry sex? Yeah, yeah, that. Well, alright. But you will at least eat some lunch later, won't you? Um, sure. <laughs> Great. I can't wait. Can't wait to cook for some stranger? This guy sure has some weird priorities. Just as a heads up, is there anything you can't eat? I'm a vegan. Oh, I'm vegan. Alrighty. Oh, he doesn't care. Why don't you wait for me in the living room? It's right next to the kitchen. Okay, this is the same. Yes, do it. I should probably ask first. I don't think that's a good idea. Yes, look at the book. Yes. Skip. Huh? Crow places a plate of scrumptious looking pancakes on the table. Oh, it's different this time. For a moment, I think he made them for me, despite what I told him before. Oh! Oh, they're not with honey, because I said I was... Because I said I'm a vegan, so he used maple syrup this time. <laughs> Until he sinks his fork into the fluffy batter, that is. I see you looking. Did you change your mind about wanting to eat? 
No, I... God damn it, stomach. Don't betray me now. I brought an extra plate and fork, just in case. Yeah, you gonna eat nine pancakes all by yourself, bro? Just to this, his side where there is, in fact, an extra plate and fork. Can't believe I was so distracted by the pancakes that I didn't notice them. It's not like I haven't eaten in three days. Jeez. I'm fine. Don't mind me. Yo. Thank you for the, the, the prime sub. I really appreciate that. Cool guy right there. Hey, guys. If you sub with prime, you get rid of the ads, okay? Just saying. This guy knows what's going on. Merry Christmas. Nice. Hey, and now you don't get ads. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's a dub. That's a dub. I don't deserve it. I mean, you're it's it's not it's for you, not me, man. You get ads. I win either way. Crow covers his mouth and I can see his shoulder shaking. Someone saying What? Maple syrup is so good. Thanks for streaming the obscure stuff. I actually want to see, lol. Oh, like like this game? That's okay. <laughs> You were saying? Shit. Without another word to add, I pick up the fork and grab the dish that Crow conveniently slid next to me. <gasps> if you miss any of the video, by the way, I'll always have the VOD up on YouTube eventually. Like, give it a day or two. Um, but yeah. So if you miss the stream, miss part of the stream, you can always watch all of it on YouTube. Fluffy sweetness of the pancakes combined with the juiciness of the berries. The caramel-like taste of the syrup sends me right to heaven. So much for not wanting to eat anything. I can't stop. In less than five minutes, the pancakes are no more. <laughs> Looks like someone was hungry after all. Ugh, that's embarrassing. What am I, a kid? Sorry about that. I got a bit too excited. Nothing to be sorry about. I'm happy you liked them so much. They were fantastic. Did you use maple syrup? Birch syrup, actually. Since there aren't maple trees in the area, only birch and pine trees... Wow, that's really cool. He really makes the most of living in this area, doesn't he? That's pretty cool. It takes a long time to tap a tree. Don't forget the chaga tea, though. It'll warm you right up. Uh, okay, skip. Protest. We're gonna be a dick to him. Sorry, this is the dick run. This guy passes the vibe check. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's gonna be the next ending, I think. Please, could you maybe not call me that? We don't really know each other that well, so it's kind of... Uh, oh, God. I'm so sorry. It was completely out of line, wasn't it? Hey, hey, it's okay. You don't need to apologize so much. No, no, I get it. I just have this weird habit of giving pet names to the people I like. Huh? Did he just say he likes me? Like likes me? Even though we just met? I still would appreciate it if you didn't call me that. Please. I understand. Thank you. Would others think this is excessive? It's not like I'm going to see this guy again after I get to Frost Peak Town. And yet, I still don't want someone I barely know to call me that. Drinking milk. I have to be true to myself. I had two teaspoons of- okay, skip ahead. It's alright, Aspen. I think it's good that you're letting it all out. Wait, it's just... It's being so sweet. Okay, wait, skip again, yeah. If I've read it, I'm gonna skip it. I don't want to impose. I'd love to stay. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure? I don't know. I'm not sure. Crow doesn't answer right away. <sighs> Says he lets out a deep sigh and avoids looking at me as if he was disappointed. Crosses his arms. Fidgets with his braid. Bites his lip. Oh my god. Once he's satisfied, he makes eye contact once again. The way he's staring at me is so icy, it leaves me petrified. You're not sure? Then what are you sure about? What do you intend to do? What could you possibly do in this kind of situation, other than what I just suggested? I could go kill myself? Nerd? Because I can assure you, there aren't many other options. Unless freezing to death is in your plans. Which, by the way, almost happened yesterday. <gasps> Why is he being so hostile all of a sudden? Oh my god, dude. Can you chill the hell out? I can assure you, I'm quite calm. It's not you who's thinking clearly. I just said I wasn't convinced. Not that I wouldn't stay. Uh, 
I kind of like to keep my options open, okay? And, you know, not feeling like I'm being forced into something I don't want to do. Making decisions in the heat of the moment is generally not a good idea. It's true. Ah. Sigh. No, no, you're right. I acted out of line. It's just, I'm worried about you. Not many people come around these parts. Be too risky to, for you to leave right now. Especially when you don't know the area. And I hope you'd like to stay for a little while longer. Damn. I really don't like the idea of staying with a stranger. A pushy one at that. But he's making a good, no, a great point. I don't have much of a choice here. I mean, what else can I do? Hitchhike? When I saw literally no cars around after driving for hours? Oh yeah, sounds like a real winner, Aspen. No. It's either staying here or freezing in the cold. And I want that even less. He did help me, so I'm still willing to give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe, hopefully, he's not so bad. I'll stay. Huh? What? I'll stay. Uh... Now you're just saying that. <laughs> I'm serious. I'll really stay. For now. Till I run away. Really? Cross my heart and hope to die. Well, maybe not the die part. <laughs> Alrighty. In any case, thank you for letting me stay. It's my pleasure. We're going to have so much fun you'll never want to leave. Uh, <laughs> stop teasing me like that. I might just believe you. Okay, skip. Quickly put the book away? Better not risk it. I don't know why, but that book gave me the chills. Oh, this way we can get the book again, isn't it? Thank you. Thanks for waiting, Aspen. Yeah, no problem. Hmm. Is something wrong? You seem a bit tense all of a sudden. <gasps> Fuck. Curse my inability to put on a poker face. Think of something, Aspen. Quick. Oh, I was just thinking you have a lot of books. Ah, do you perhaps like reading? Feel free to read any you like. Most of them are research-oriented, though, so I'm not sure if you'll be interested. Have you written any of them? I once heard researchers document their studies. Uh. <laughs> yeah, they do that. They're a work in progress. Oh, okay. I wonder if you wrote the red book I found before. You don't say. Okay. Skip. This looks delicious. I love curry rice. You do? I'm glad. I'll be sure to remember that. Crow will remember that. Wasting no more time, I, before I end up salivating all over my clothes, I wolf down the meal with gusto. Mmm. Every flavor is so rich. The sauteed veggies, the savory and spicy curry that combines with the fluffiness of the rice. It's impossible to keep that smile off my face. Skip. <laughs> Skip. That was a big skip, dude. Good morning, Aspen. All right, dude. All right. Chill out, guys. Come on. We don't need to be talking about that in chat. Morning. So, are you going to tell me what you got there? Uh. Oh, <laughs> I guess it does look pretty stuffed, doesn't it? Wait, this is the same. Yeah, I can't accept them. I'm <laughs> being a dick. Just keep being a dick. Wait, what was the... Yes, maybe. No comment. No comment. <laughs> oh, this is what he said. He, I might he, I might like him more. I see. Well, no matter. Can't help but feel like he's disappointed. <laughs> but how was I supposed to answer that? Alrighty. <laughs> wow. Oh, no. Without saying anything, he points at a certain striped tree. He's going to follow with his finger. Okay. Thank you, Aspen. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, does that sound good? Sounds good to me. Excellent. Okay, this is this is normal. This is what I ate last time. I'm pretty. Oh no, cheese. There's no cheese. It's just it's just spinach and mushrooms. That's pretty sad. That's a pretty sad sandwich. Spinach and mushroom. I like the way you think. No, oh, no, it's so bad, dude. What is this? <laughs> it's nothing fancy, but I hope you find it tasty. There's no doubt in my mind that I will. I did tell him I was vegan for this route. This is really the dick route. I'm making bro make sandwiches with just spinach and mushrooms, and that's it. <laughs> oh, no. 
<laughs> God, mushrooms go so well with so many things. It's almost criminal that he didn't use anything to go with them. <laughs> what are you thinking about? <laughs> no. Okay, well, that's the thing. Believe me, I really want to. Crow's nice, sure, but maybe a little too nice. Skipped. Can't complain about his cooking skills, though. He makes some damn good vegan food. <laughs> no. Still, it's... I don't know how to explain it. It's weird. I, I bet there are vegans, like, screaming at the screen right now. We can make good food! It, it's not that bad! And I'm just like... I'm just sitting here like, that's a joke. <laughs> not to mention, sometimes he seems kind of desperate. <sighs> it's whatever. I mean... The bus won't come until all the snow is removed anyway, so I don't really have a choice if I don't want to freeze to death. <sighs> Why am I talking to a crow? Not sure what I expected. Okay, we gotta skip ahead. Help yourself, Aspen. It's just different every time this food, goddammit. The comforting smell of pumpkin soup makes its way up my nose. There's a couple of parsley leaves and a pinch of pepper at the top. Time to dig in. That looks good. Real clear. Real clear. Oh my gosh, this flavor is so rich. Do you know what the secret is to perfect pumpkin soup? Wait, pumpkin soup? I just realized what it is. No, what? Tofu's not bad, I don't think. I've had Every time I've had tofu, it's been pretty good, so. Making a saute of the veggies before you apply water. Even before if you had a homemade bouillon cu cube into after that. Must be true then. Because now that you mention that, I'm pretty sure I can taste stir-fried onions. <laughs> And you'd be absolutely right. Do you like it? Oh, hell yeah. Excellent. No, I want to eat soup, dude. It's cold. I want to eat some soup. Gorilla cheese. We, we don't waste food in Aspen land. So I dip a piece of bread and clean the rest of the bowl with it. Okay. okay. Skip ahead. Slap his hand away. Get the fuck away from me. Um, what are you doing? Uh... Sorry, you had an eyelash under your eye. So I just... You could have just told me, you know. I can get it myself. Grill me a cheese. <laughs> I feel my I feel my face with my fingers until I find the thin little hair that doesn't belong. There, I got it. Oh, we are a dick in this route. You certainly did. Anyway, <laughs> anyways. Given my circumstances, I shouldn't get on this on his bad side. At least. Not until I'm sure I can leave this place. Oh, we're getting on his bad side this run. He clearly showed me his true colors yesterday. So I'll be on my best behavior. Until a chance to escape presents itself. For now, I'll keep my eyes open and wait patiently. The opportunity will come. Okay, big. I could make him drop his guard a little. What was happening? Oh, making breakfast? Making bacon pancakes, making bacon pancakes. Bacon pancakes. Sorry. Crow's not here. Oh, wait. I'm a vegan. I can't make bacon pancakes. Damn it. Okay. He's definitely sleeping then. Well, I guess it's cooking time. Wait. I'm still cooking in breakfast? Put some rat poison in it. Mission complete. Okay. Uh, this looks the same. Vegan pancakes? Uh, did, did you notice? I know you're not vegan, but hopefully they taste okay. Felt like using cranberry jam instead of syrup, though. Vegan pancakes. I did you get up early to make these for me? Oh, this is normal. This uh, draw cuts a new piece of the pancake and gives it to me. Huh? Well, it's good. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> Skip. I guess it's one of his work in progress books that he mentioned before. Crow must have moved it to his room, maybe to hide it from me as well. Who knows at this point? Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, no, it's all right. Okay. Different. What if he plans to do something bad to me? Yeah, he does. I'm sorry. Oh, no. You should probably both said too much sorry. I'm sorry, too, for your record. It's fine. At least you apologized. Yeah, I'm not apologizing to you. It's fine, Crow. At least you apologized. Don't know how sincere that apology was, though. For all I know, it could be another attempt to manipulate me. No. Ah. <sighs> No, chat. We're not doing that. It's the least I could do. We're not an IRL streamer. We're not a cooking stream. It's really not. But let's not disturb the peace just yet. 
If I say what I'm actually thinking right now, things could backfire. I need to be patient for now. By the way... Okay, it's the same. Here you go, Aspen. I hope you find it interesting. Oh, don't worry. I will. Thank you. Oh, skip. Skip. Slip one of my thumbs out of the warm cover enveloping my hands and caress the cotton fabric. Okay, skip. So we find all of this. This is all the same. <gasps> Different? Okay, it skipped a lot there. <laughs> but it's okay. Uh, I release myself from his grasp and push him away. Crow. Oh, this is the same. Um, stop trying to manipulate me. Okay, wait, 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 wait. wait maybe we save this? Because this one might actually be important. Because now... Relationships shouldn't be built on lies. Stop trying to manipulate me. I want you to trust me. Stop trying to manipulate me. Yeah, that. What I want for you is to stop manipulating me. You got a lot of nerve to call me a liar, you fucking hypocrite. Farmer's living in Winter Hollow. A bus coming by when the snow's been removed. Oh, and let's not forget your friend, the talking bird. Let me guess. Are you two in cahoots? Planning to sacrifice me to the devil or some shit? Aspen. Well, what's the matter? Yo, thanks for the bit. Thanks for the cheer. Thanks. Nothing to say, huh? Too much honesty for you? Okay, this is the same. You didn't seem too worried about me leaving alone just now. I guess I can't really run away when the dreadful blizzard is out there. But I'm getting the hell out of here the moment it stops, no matter what. <sighs> it's. I'm skipping like two sentences at a time. It's going to be a way to escape Winter Hollow. Earlier today... That red-eyed crow was very insistent on covering the strange symbol from me. From me. As if he were afraid I might touch it. I still don't know what the symbol does, but I have a feeling it's the key to leaving this place. Yeah, it is. Whatever happens, I'll make sure this nightmare ends tomorrow. <gasps> day 8? Okay, day 7. No, it's day 7. Sorry, my bad. Okay. I didn't sleep a wink. How could I when I know there's a maniac just a few rooms away? Guarding the room's door was a must. I'm glad it stopped snowing at least. No signs of another blizzard coming either. Look at my backpack. It's not filled to the brim, but still full nonetheless. Since I hadn't been able to sleep anyway, I made the most of my time by packing my clothes and a few other things. So I had included my water bottle, the knife I picked up yesterday, a couple of granola bars from the kitchen, and gloves. <sighs> Guess I'm keeping them after all, huh? <laughs> Stealing them, you mean? Whatever. No time for sentimentality. I'm off to... I'm off, if I'm gonna escape, it has to be now. Ugh. Aspen, are you awake? Fuck. Can we talk? There's something really important I have to tell you. Too late for that now, crow boy. Guess you're still mad at me, huh? Listen, I'll be waiting in the living room, alright? <laughs> God damn it, of course he's gonna wait over there can't have me leaving through the window again, can he? I mean, I could always force the keyhole from the entrance with my knife, but... No, it would make a lot of noise, and Crow could catch me before I even managed to break it. I'll have to escape from the window in this room. It's smaller, a bit higher than the one in the living room, and let's not forget, it's much sturdier, too. The Aspen from two nights ago did not appreciate almost breaking their hands. Basically, it's a fucking pain to open. But I've got no other choice, it's the only way. Ah. <sighs> Gotta pray it has a similar system to the living room's window. I don't want to resort to a plan B this early on. No more dawdling, Aspen. We're getting out of here, boys. We're, we're making a break for it. The faster I get away from this cabin, the better. I put on my jacket and get to work. Crack. Smash. 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 Break. Punch. Punch, punch, punch. Played a clown game earlier today about punching. It was pretty fun. Hot clown girl was in there. Once my feet touch the snow, I make a break. I break into a run. Speed. Huh, huh, huh. Okay, I've already I've arrived at the place where I found that strange symbol. That has to be the key to getting out. No doubt about it. Carefully, I take a few minutes to scratch every nook, search every nook and cranny in the area surrounding me. Just to be safe, I make sure to check it more than once. Heck, I even crawl on all fours despite the ground being freezing. I'm that desperate. <laughs> Goat sacrifice. No. Never. Fuck. Fuck! Where the hell is it? Bite my gloved thumb. Think, Aspen. What are you forgetting? Think! Think, Mark! Think! Smash. Punch. Punch. Does it have anything to do with the red-eyed crow? Yesterday. I vaguely remember that the symbol suddenly disappeared after he flew off. <gasps> Swift flapping noise makes me look up. Shit. 
It's him. Though the fade in a misty air prevents me from fully distinguishing the silhouettes on the trees, I still make a several pairs of red eyes staring at me. Of course the damn bird had friends. I don't know if it's intuition, self-preservation instinct, or sixth sense, but everything in my body tells me to get the hell out of there pronto. He's looking through the crows, we already know that much. I stayed there way too long. Pro definitely knows I left already. But I can't go back to the cabin. Where do I go? Due to a long bout of unprecedented winter weather, this area has been closed off to the public. That's right, Winter Hollow Village. Most, if not all, of the houses look pretty run down, but maybe, just maybe, I can use one of them as a hiding spot until I figure out how to leave this place. I might even find some more clues. Didn't have much of a chance before the blizzard and all. Uh, right as I finish mulling this thought over, a sudden chill runs up the back of my neck, giving me shivers. It's familiar, yet unsettling. The weird sensation of deja vu. The unmistakable, relentless feeling that I'm being watched. That I'm being mocked for having the slightest bit of hope. You won't escape. You'll never escape. Whether it's the red-eyed crow somehow sending me a telepathic message, my own negative thoughts, or something else entirely, I'm not sure. Whatever it is, I don't care. I reject them all the same. You won't escape, huh? We'll see about that. We're escaping! I'm getting away. I've seen what happens. We, we marry him and kill people together? That's not a life for me. Good. Seems like it's not too late. No signs of any type of crow, bird, or human. The village looks exactly like it did yesterday. Sinister and devoid of any souls. I can still hide in one of the houses. Maybe even, fi maybe even find some clues if I'm lucky. Hug myself and rub my arms vigorously. It's getting colder. You've got this, Aspen. It's gonna be okay. There's no way of knowing if that's true, but I say the words out loud both to encourage and calm myself down. I'd better hide at one of the the one that's farthest from Crow's cabin. Still, I have to inspect the other houses to see if I find anything. Walk to the first house. Nothing. Not even furniture inside. Second house doesn't fare any better. There's a couple of chairs at least, but nothing even remotely similar to a clue that could help me. The cycle continues. Houses three and four are quite similar to the second one. A few worn out tables that have seen better days. Chairs so rotten they're probably not even suitable for sitting on. A very, very old hearth. House number four did have a desk with drawers, but nothing really of note was inside them. God, it's getting colder. I better eat something to get some warmth. What? It's not. I don't think that's how that works. I grab two granola bars from my backpack and scarf them down. Woo. Okay. That hit the spot. Snowflake. Uh, where are uh, you? Uh, over there. Throw a rock, Aspen. Throw a bottle. Right as I'm about to leave house number four, I hear the distant yet palpable voice of the man I'm running away from. Aspen. Fuck, he's getting closer. Almost as if it was some a sort of ritual after how many times I've done it by now. I leave through one of the windows instead of the front door. Ah! Is he right there? But fortunately, because of my urgency, I don't notice the wooden fence right below. And I'm crashing into it. Oh. Hmm. Ah, there you are. Shit. Ah. <sighs> Breaks my heart that you go as far as escape from the cabin after everything I did for you. Not to mention how dangerous it is to wander by yourself. Oh, yeah. Because the holy mother of lettuce here isn't dangerous at all. I just wanted to talk, yes. God, just... Just leave me alone. How did you even find me so quickly? This area is huge. Crow doesn't answer right away. Instead, he paces around for a few seconds. Please, no. Please don't kill me. Stops right in front of me once again. How indeed... Oh, it's Crow, he's circling me, he's Crow circling me. I hate being a party pooper, but I'm a little disappointed you're asking that when you figure out so much already, Snowflake. His voice is playful, but there's a certain edge to it that chills me to the bone. His eyes are cold, even colder than the frosty winter air. Not that it will change anything, but, well, if you must know, a little birdie told me. Run. Run, Aspen. Move your legs. You have to stand up. Hmm. Or perhaps they sh they showed me would be more accurate, correct? I guess. Ah, well, details. Kick and flare repeatedly in an embarrassing attempt to get up from the ground, but to no avail. What the fuck? What is wrong with me? Get up, bro! Even trying to reach my backpack to take out the knife, which shouldn't even have taken more than five seconds, seems like an impossible feat. What? 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 what, what my muscles atrophy? 
What's going ha What's happening? Why don't I have any strength? <laughs> Would you look at that? Ah. Uh. It seems the opium poppies are already kicking in. Opium poppies? What? Snowflake, sweetheart. You really think I wouldn't notice you stealing food from the kitchen? Uh. Figured you'd grab something easy to manage. Like the granola bars you stole yesterday. But I couldn't be sure which snacks you'd end up choosing, so... I just added the powder to all of them. Oh my god, you drugged me? <sighs> no, I drugged myself, too. Duh. <laughs> I still had to eat something. Drugged is a very strong word. I'm just putting you to sleep for a little while. feel myself getting weaker. And from the look on your face, it seems I won't have to wait much longer. And weaker. <laughs> to think a little plant could be so powerful. So intense weaker to the point where it hurts to keep my eyes open isn't nature just amazing yeah <laughs> last thing i hear before ha passing out is the howling winter air and the sound of crow's maniacal laughter yikes i don't think we got away boys i don't think we got away <laughs> we gonna get our organs harvested or what Ugh, my head's killing me what happened uh, we're in his room. We're tied up. Huh? This is... I find myself surrounded by the same type of wooden walls as the one from the room I stayed in the past few days. Unlike my previous chambers, though, this bedroom has a lot of books and what looks like research papers to the point where it could be said it's a little messy. Even the desk at the far end is drowned in them. A couple of paintings make the place look slightly more cheerful, but not by much. The most distinguished... Okay. I think I've read that. Well, may yeah, I I've read this. Good morning, sleepyhead. Mm. Hmm? How do you feel? Although I try to move away from him immediately, my body has different plans. Fuck. <laughs> Feisty, aren't we? Sorry to say you won't be able to move much right now, Snowflake. Don't you dare call me that, you lettuce shithead. What the hell did you do to me? He touched me. We... we uh... No. Oh, nothing much. Just needed a little guarantee that you wouldn't be running away the moment you woke up. Again, I might add. So he drugged me. Great. Again, I might I add. I'm glad to I still had some powder left in the last batch I made. Tying people up is not really my style, you see. <laughs> I spit in his face. Well, I'll be. That's not very nice. Crow wipes his cheek. At least wait until I get a test tube, yes? Wouldn't want to waste it. What the fuck are you doing, man? Puts my spit inside a small glass container. <sighs> I can't wait to analyze this. wonder how many amylases you have. Amylases? You're sick in the head. Am I? Huh? I guess I love... I guess love makes you do crazy things. This is a first for me. Oh, come on. You're making me sad, Snowflake. Would you give me an answer to my confession of love? Uh, this isn't love. It's pure obsession. It's concerning, too. Is that I'm so? I'm afraid I don't see the difference. <laughs> For fuck's sake. If this... If this is how you treat people you love, I don't want to know what you did to people you hate. People I hate? People? <laughs> bites his lips, barely able to contain his laughter. That depends on what you consider to be people. No. No. S surely you're pulling my leg here. Well, I may have ensured no one would bother us, be it people or something else entirely. I feel the color leave my face. Even though I'm certain they weren't on my side either, this isn't what I wanted. My stomach doesn't flip. That's cool. Did you... Did you do something to the crows? <laughs> Roars with laughter, not being able to contain it any longer. I had no choice, Snowflake. They wanted to take you away from me. Oh. Can you believe it? They actually had the nerve to demand I give you to them. Those abominations aren't even real crows. What a fucking insult to Mother Nature. <laughs> The Red King should really have thought of the blood pact over. It's his own fucking fault for not knowing who he was messing with. 
In any case, I'm sure he got the message by now. Not like he can leave my pantry anyway. What? But he's glad he doesn't have to share food with his siblings. Crow approaches the bed and puts his hands on either side of that my head. You don't have to worry about anything. Chat? Chat? Wait, I gotta save this here. I gotta save! I gotta save! What is this, man? What is this? This is the horrible ending. This is the bad ending, dude. Round two. I'll protect you. I'll take care of you. Always. That's the thumbnail right there, by the way. We found the thumbnail. Forever and always. <laughs> oh. Okay. And then they hit me with this. Then they hit me with this, like, romantic. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's great. He's pulling his dick out. Get out. Oh, shit. The copyright. No, 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 Oh, good. One second. Okay. Okay, what ending do you get? What are the endings called, though? Okay, so sweet. We want the sweet and shy. We want to be sweet and shy. That's what we want, okay? Okay, chat? So we're gonna be sweet and shy for the sweet ending. That's what we're going to go for, okay? Okay, if you're watching on YouTube, I'll be back. I guess, like, the first one? I guess, like, the first option. I'm okay. I'm okay, all things considered. I think. <laughs> this is the sex speed run. <laughs> That's good in my book. It's quite a close call, wasn't it? Uh, you can say that again. Thank you for helping me. Of course. But By the way, uh, I'm sorry about changing your clothes without permission. It was kind of an emergency since you were... Oh, yeah, don't worry about it. I mean, you did what you had to do in that kind of situation and diddled. I'm, if anything, I'm actually really grateful, because otherwise I would have probably gone in hypothermia. Or worse. Much worse. Huh. The man gives a sigh of relief. Thank goodness. Can't believe he was worried about what I was going to think when his actions literally saved my life. He's kind of cute, not going to lie. Okay, let's get bad. So... Are you sure you don't mind? Yeah, we're don't being sweet and, sweet and shy. I love cooking, so it's not trouble at all. In that case, I'd love to eat something too. Thank you. My pleasure. Oh, that reminds me. Is there anything you can't eat? No, I'm good with anything. I'm good Alrighty. with anything. Skip. Okay. Uh, should probably ask first. I really want to, but I should probably ask first. It's not my house after all. He stole my virginity. <laughs> True. It looks so inviting, though. Hmm. Something on your mind? Crow smiles at me while holding a tray with a bunch of stuff. God, how long was I with my with my head in, my, in the clouds? I didn't even hear him come in. Sorry, I was just thinking the carpet looked comfortable. I see. Is that so? Free to rest your feet on it if you want. Oh, yeah, I really dig my toes in there. Really? Be my guest. Thank you. Really dig my toes in the bucket. Yeah, so soft. <laughs> Your face is priceless. I have to see you're more relaxed now. Okay, skip. Okay. Um. So we want to blush. Ooh, woo. Oh. Um. Th thanks. God, I was definitely not expecting that. Hmm? Is that a blush? I see. How cute. Maybe I should call you Snowflake more often. Well, I don't mind. I see. 
Good to know. <laughs> this is only because I like the pet name. This is only because I like the pet name. Oh. I had two teaspoons. Okay. Skip. Uh, so we're going to pick... I don't want to impose... Oh, we picked that before? Okay. Uh, so we're gonna decide to come clean. Yeah, let's decide to come clean. He said it should feel at home, but for some reason it kind of feels like I invaded his privacy. Thanks for waiting, Snowflake. Fidget with my hands. Hmm. What's wrong? I'm sorry, Crow. I looked at one of your books without permission. Don't worry about it. Feel free to read any books you like. Most of them are research oriented though, so I'm not sure if you'll be interested. Wait. Huh? Uh. Out of curiosity, which one did you pick? Um, that one. I point to the only red hardcover on the shelves. None of the others are red, so it made me curious. <gasps> um, are you okay? Just dandy. Was I not supposed to read it? I'm so. No, no, you're fine. It's not that. Uh. It's really not that. Honest, just is for me that research book happens to be written by yours truly oh oh it's still a work in progress though i'll keep working on it this week that's really cool crow i hope it goes well thank you aspen i can't help but wonder though is the writing from research books normally that intense maybe he's just passionate about his work okay skip ahead Okay, so we're going to go with... Are you sure I can have them? That's really kind of you, Crow, but... Are you sure I can have them? Aren't they important to you? I have a, quite a few pairs in my room. Don't worry about it. Really. Besides, I think that color suits you more. Dear God, how does he do that? My cheeks are on freaking fire over here. I, uh... <laughs> clear my throat for a few seconds until I can finally muster something coherent. Thank you. You're very welcome. Now, you won't be able to forget me. Eh? Um, well, I, uh... <laughs> oh my god, you got so red. Relax, I was just teasing you. <laughs> yeah, I totally knew that. I didn't know that. Unless he's teasing about teasing. Teasing about teasing? God, I suck at being flirted with. And I'm 100% sure I wouldn't be able to forget him anyway. Oh, whoa. Now with that smile. Okay. We're leaving. Skip. Uh, sweet shy, maybe? Maybe. Hmm. Really now? Curlene's in. Looks me right in the eye. Do you mind being a little bit more specific? Uh, er. <laughs> Aspen's bad flirting tip number one. When unsure what to say, just laugh like an idiot. Hmm? Hmm? Well, you're very mysterious. Ooh, ooh. Curious. Leans back. Very curious. I feel like I've forgotten how to breathe. Alrighty. Skip ahead. Okay, I don't hate being here. Crow is nice. Really nice. I still miss my home, though. But what can I do? Bus won't come until all the snow is removed. With my luck... Who's to say there won't be another snowstorm? I don't really have a choice right now. This is the same. Uh, okay. We're gonna be sweet and shy. Stay still and close your eyes. Yeah, ooh, ooh. We, we did pick that one before. Okay, skipping ahead. He's angry at us. I don't think everything he said was a lie. No matter how good of a liar you are, you can't hide your whole personality. Inevitably, some parts will slip out. For him to be so desperate... Something bad must be happening. He's just going about the solution the wrong way. But maybe... No, definitely. There's something I can do. I just need to find the best opportunity. Okay. I think he'd like that. Okay. I don't, I don't know. Breakfast? Is this the breakfast scene? Yeah, it is. Okay. Wow, that skipped. What if we keep growing apart? Wow. Both said too much. I'm sorry, too. It's true that you started it. It really caught me off guard, you know? Crazy? I was crazy once. Locked me in a room. A rubber room. I'm so... 
but I wasn't much better. I also said too much. I'm sorry, Crow. And thank you for apologizing. Of course. I just wish you wouldn't lie to me either. No matter how much I like you, whatever we have going on right now won't end well if there's no mutual trust. Okay, skip. Wow, this is skipping a lot, isn't it? Okay. Wait, what? Release one of my hands from his grasp and caress his cheek. But he pulls back. Crow. Oh. Relationships shouldn't be built on lies? Is the sweet and shy one. Okay. I hope we're able to talk better tomorrow. I'm not going anywhere. Not until I get some answers, at least. Well, not like I can leave anyway with the hellish snowstorm outside. Still. Wish we lived closer to each other. Huh. <sighs> Live closer. You literally... Crow hasn't told me anything yet, but he didn't have to. His reaction said plenty. Even so, I still do want to know what's going on here. The deserted village? The strange symbol in the, in the snow? The crow with red eyes? I have a feeling it's all connected. And so is Crow, one way or another. Whatever happens, I'll make sure I find out all the answers. For my sake, and his as well. Okay... So maybe there's a way to like, maybe there's a way to like fix him, like actually fix him, fix him. <sighs> Anyone who says sleep is for the week doesn't know the pain of insomnia. I'm glad I could get four hours at least, especially with everything that has happened. Supernatural or not, Crow definitely has a few red flags and I'm not stupid. There's no denying he's suffering as well and the same can be said for me. Maybe that's why I feel so connected to him, in spite of everything else. We're both hurting. We both want wow. good company. Someone we can be ourselves with. Wow. Yo, thanks for the follow. Awesome, right? Appreciate that. I just can't forget how happy he looked that night, when he told me he wasn't lonely anymore. I think the reason why I dropped the plate was, because deep inside I felt the same. I feel the same. We can't really ignore the big-ass elephant in the room either, can we? This place does something to you. Something that's not quite right. It's not just the supernatural. Being isolated from the whole world for a long time isn't healthy. Can't help Crow. He needs Wi-Fi. He needs internet. Can't help Crow with all he's dealing with. I have my own demons to fight. But I can at least help him get out of here. I have to talk to him now. Wasting another moment, I head to the cabin's hallway. Okay. I'm just here for the goat sacrifices and the Ara Aros. Nice. It's earlier than usual, but Crow should have woken up by now. I'll try the kitchen first. Hmm. Where are he at? He's not here either. That's odd. Did he go to the living room? Yep. Not here either. Maybe he's ta taking a shower? Oh, yeah. Join him in the shower. Did something happen to him? Why do I feel so uneasy? Give my cheeks a few slaps. Stop overthinking, Aspen. This is not the time. Don't worry, Chad. I slapped myself a few times. See? His jacket is right there. Let's go to his room first. He could just be sleeping. Take a few steps toward forward and stop right in front of the door. Crow, are you awake? Silence. One more time. Crow? Crow? He ran away from us? <gasps> Gasp. For the first time since I came here, I finally get a glimpse of Crow's room. It's packed with books, research papers, and even cupboards full of jars. Okay, we've read this a lot of times. Yes, we've read this. But he drew the crows from the book he lent me. It's not here either. He must be... Huh? My foot hits something under the bed. Crouch should take what... Looks to be another one of his paintings. <gasps> this. What lies in the canvas is none other than... Me. Crow. I feel my eyes watering, but I don't let the tears fall just yet. <laughs> Put the canvas back under the bed. Ooh, ooh, that's a little cringe. We found his painting of us. Stand up straight again, and I notice an open book on top of the light table. A book with a red cover. I'm so focused on the paintings that I didn't notice. Isn't this the one I skimmed a few days ago? Crow must have brought it back here. He did say he wasn't finished yet. But... 
The Red Scavenger's Blood Pact. I see. So that's what that red-eyed crow is called. One, rule 1. You must not temper with the sacred symbol, nor the force field. Doing so will result in your death. Hmm. Well, I'm alive, so this must only apply to the person the pact affects. I did get a bit thrown around, though. Rule 2. You must provide human offerings to the scavengers at every full moon, or once their satiety... Satiety... Satiety of the previous offerings subsides. So there's more than one crow then. You shan't let any scavengers perish from lack of offerings. The responsibility to keep them fed lies upon you. Failure to do so will result in your death. Rule 4. You must not harm the Red King. Doing so will break the pact, but also result in your death. Oh my fucking god. Don't tell me he... I have to leave now. After putting on my jacket and gloves, I head towards the cabin's front door. I inspect the blue fabric first. No. My head, heart beats faster and faster. I feel like I can't breathe. This. Isn't this the jacket he always wears? How could I have been so stupid? It's Crow. Of course he would pull something like this. What do you mean, it's Crow? You know, you've only known him for one week. Although I know it's futile, I grab the door handle and I pull with all my strength. Fuck. No, 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 no. Don't panic. Trust. Let's try the living room window. Yeah, true. Break it. Smash it. Crash. Ah. Uh, it won't fucking budge. I go through all the rooms. I go through all the windows. But no matter how hard I pull, no matter how hard I try, not a single one of them opens. I kick the front door. God damn it! What do I do? What the fuck do I do? At this rate, Crow will... He'll... I feel my eyes watering again. Only this time, my knees give up and I crumple to the floor. Crow. Crow! <laughs> I cry. I sob. I wail. Unable to compose myself. Unable to muffle my screams. He's gonna die. He's gonna die and I can't do anything to stop it. Ugh! What is... Eh? I look down at where I had just stepped. Where I had fallen to my knees earlier. I'd accidentally move in the edge of the carpet. Is this the pantry? I step to the floor once again. It sounds hollow. <laughs> oh, is this what I think it is? The pantry we've talked about in so many games? Holy fuck, that's a big pantry. Any bodies in there? Any any dead guys down there? Holy shit, it's a pantry. Pantry into a motherfucking basement. Any, any people down there? Chamber of Secrets? Of course Crow would have this. I wonder, does it have another door? Yeah, probably. Gasp. I guess this answers my question. Okay, time to go. For real. Uh, 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 uh. There's deaf people in there. He's got them nice and like nice and ready for the crows. Uh, uh, uh. The more I run, the more feathers and blood I see scattered on the snow. Oh god, did they murder him? Or did he murder someone else? Several scavengers. Vulnerable. Exposed. Lifeless. I guess the pack didn't say they couldn't perish in other ways. Still, this is too much. Wait, is he killing them? Is he killing the birds? <laughs> he is. <laughs> when I arrive, Crow is holding a knife in his hand. The red-eyed bird stares at him without so much as blinking. You are making a grave mistake. On the contrary, I should have done this a while ago. Because I'm done with your fucking bullshit, Rory. <laughs> you can't have a demon crow and then name it Rory, dude. <laughs> You can't be like, demonic evil crow. His name is Rory. It's just Rory. Crow. What? What are you doing here? What? What? What do you mean? What am I doing here? I've been looking for you everywhere. And you shouldn't have. You were supposed to stay in the cabin. God, why do I have to be so stubborn? It's all meaningless if you... Shut up. Just shut up already had it with your lies your evasive answers and your extreme ways to keep me safe you never tell me anything did my words yesterday mean nothing to you no i you always always do what you think is best for me but not once have you stopped to consider what i'd say have you i feel my eyes sting oh no crow's great crow's perfect of course he knows what's best for little old aspen why am i freaking out my vision starts to get blurry name it fucking rourke or some shit True. Surely Aspen won't mind. It's for their sake, after all. 
As another tear dropped threatens to roll down my cheek, I hide my face in my hands. Fuck. Aspen. Please tell me something. What would you dying up what would you dying even accomplish? You'd be set free. Wait, why is it all blurry actually? <laughs> and how is sacrificing yourself going to set me free? Crow doesn't answer. I don't want that. I really don't want that. That's not how you solve problems. He still doesn't answer. The city clenches his fists. There's this word. I'm sure you're familiar with it, seeing how you're so knowledgeable. I start getting closer. But perhaps I need to remind you of it. I'm closer. Because I have this teeny tiny suspicion that the meaning might have slipped your mind. I'm closer. It's called fucking communication. Oh, okay. That was not the word I thought he was going to use. I told him at a close enough distance to hug him with all my might. Aspen. His hands fidget in the air. <sighs> I'm really sorry. You're right. You're right about everything. It's just... When I thought about what they might do to you, I completely lost it. Why did you keep it to yourself? Why indeed. I guess it's a reflex at this point. A reflex? I'm so used to handling things myself that... I just never thought you would care enough to trust me. Oh, okay. You're different from anyone I've ever met. Yeah, we're six and hours into the I, stream. I don't <laughs> think you would have rejected me entirely, but I... No, I'm, I'm, I'm in love. We're in love with our murderer boyfriend. I was scared. He doesn't need to say it out loud. His whole demeanor is proof enough. I squeeze Crow's back. Though he doesn't although he still doesn't hug me, I feel his hands touching my shoulders. I'm sorry, I'm such a mess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are. I'm gonna fix you. This is when you look at the murderer crazy boyfriend who's like half crow, and you're just like, I can fix him. I don't think I've ever met someone with so many red and green flags as him. <laughs> you are a mess. Yes. But so am I. Just as I can't fix you, you can't fix me either. No, 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 we're gonna fix him. I'll look him in the eye. But we can try to heal together, one step at a time. A hydrate? Hydrate. Uh, please, no. Aspen. Look, maybe I'm getting ahead of myself here. I know we haven't known each other for that long. I know it, and yet I haven't felt as close to another person as I felt with you. Maybe it's cheesy to say this, but I think this is supposed to be the best ending, by the way. These past few days, I feel like we've formed a connection. I... I love you, Crow. I need you here. Alive. Let's figure this out together. Please. Okay. There's no more hesitation when I feel his arms wrapped around my neck, my back. Oh, wrapped around my neck? I wasn't gonna say that. Choke me, Daddy. What? Okay, Aspen. Really? After a small pause, Crow pulls back gently. We gotta kill the crow, though. He brings his hands to my face and wipes a tear from my cheek. Cross my heart and hope to die. Well, maybe not the die part. I laugh. He starts to leaning in. Oh, sorry, guys. We blacked out for the sex scene. Close my eyes and feel his lips pressed to mine. Nice. Okay. We smile and touch our foreheads together. Are you quite done uh, yet? Rory, do you mind? <laughs> oh my god, I forgot he was here. Uh... Yes. Good. Now, what is it you intend to do after you cease your murdering spree? Hmm, so you're finally done then. And what of you, human? You never even cared to heed my warnings. I think the word you're looking for is manipulation. I see it now. What you were trying to do. You wanted to keep me out of the house so I could die in the blizzard. Then the next day, Crow would find me and be completely devastated. Finish the contract himself. Killing two birds with one stone. The irony. You know my words about him being a liar were the truth, though. Do yeah, you the not? bird was a bro. I'm not going to lie. The bird did help a lot. He still provided us with human offerings. He probably intended to do the same with you at some point. That's true, too. Rory likes to watch? I think so. I'd like to think he does. Perhaps he did not need to kill them himself, seeing as the snowstorms did the work for him. But he still prepared the meat. Also, he could have just put up a sign, contacted the local government that cars break down a lot there. There's a lot of things you could have done, okay, instead of just letting people continuing to die on your doorstep. Think back to the past few days. Crow's lies, Crow's evasiveness when he talked about certain topics, his research, his adamant behavior to keep me safe, 
his hesitant and painful gaze. The feeling of being watched, the eternal winter, the abandoned village, the blood pact itself. Yes, Rory. Yes, I know. And seeing how the amount of people coming to this area was getting lower and lower, you both must have been desperate. Do I think it was right? No, no I don't. But, I think back again. The warmth of Crow's food, the way his eyes twinkle when he's happy, the way his cheeks blush when he's feeling shy. <laughs> the way he smiles at me, he starts blushing. But that is something for him and I to talk about and solve ourselves, so it's none of your fucking business. I'll call the cops on him when I feel like it. Rory pauses for a moment before answering. Quite the feisty one, are you not? We can agree on oh, we can agree on that at least. Indeed. Um, not gonna lie, Rory, I kinda expected more backlash. Don't crows usually care about what happens to their flock? No, they cannibalize each other. Perhaps. But as sir as I am sure you have noticed, I am no crow. At least not entirely. While I indeed cared for my brothers and sisters, what's done is done. Partaking in a battle I can't win would be a waste of my time and their memory. Oh, okay. I guess I understand where he's coming from, but where does that leave Crow and me? What will you do now? Rory sighs and gazes at one of the nearby trees. There's no point in me remaining in Winter Hollow. It does not provide as many offerings anymore. Oh, okay. Therefore, I think it is time for me to migrate to a different area altogether. Where's the Rory ending? I don't know if that happens. Turns back to us once again. Bird, demon, or human, one has to learn to adapt. Okay. So, no more partial migration? No more partial migration. Wait, wait a second. What about the blood pact? The symbol? The force field? It will all be nullified the moment I take flight. Will that hurt Crow? Hold Crow's hand and interlock his fingers with mine. He squeezes back. It will not kill him if that's what you're afraid of. Breathe a sigh of relief. However, he will still have to suffer the consequences of his actions. A deal with a demon is no joke. Once the pact is nullified, it will remove whatever he gained from it. I think you probably have an idea of what that is, do you not? No! No more sexy red eyes! No more green lettuce hair! No! I feel Crow's gaze on me. Blush. He grows red. Charming, yet mysterious. I can't look away. His red eyes. There were a few times when I was outside the cabin and you weren't with me. That I felt someone's presence watched- someone watching me. Sorry, one second. That was you, wasn't it? <laughs> the crow kind of hot, though. <laughs> what are we doing? We're playing where we're finishing where winter crows go. Yes, that is correct. Does that mean his eyes will go back to the way they were before? Or will he become blind? Not completely blind. I will only be able to see... Oh, wait, no, it's him. Not completely blind. I'll... I will only be able to see red. What? Well, black, white, and red to be more specific. A bit ironic if you think about it. Still, it's the price to pay for messing with the supernatural. <laughs> but you won't be able to see nature in the same way ever again. Don't worry, Aspen. I'm fine with it. Really. Alright. At least she sees your red hair. I mean, that's cool. That's not all he will lose. What? There's more? What other thing did he ask for? Knowledge. <laughs> Knowledge about nature. Oh my god. What? But... Mind you, not what I can learn myself from books and my own observation. But, as you know, there is a limit to what one can learn from this alone. I mean... It will never compare to what it's like to receive information directly from the source. I, I guess. I mean, you could just go outside, bro. Touch some grass. Yo, Crow, touch some grass, man. What are you doing? Information that no human could possibly achieve by regular means. Yeah, but what's the point of that knowledge if you literally just live in a cabin in the woods by yourself without internet? You're not sharing it with anyone. What's the point? You're really willing to give all that away? Crow looks surprised for a second. 
but almost immediately his expression changes to that of a smile. Don't worry about it. Besides, don't you think it's more exciting to discover new things and have all sorts of experiences? Okay, guys. Sorry, pause on the game. Can you guys, uh... Can you guys chill? Hungary Ball and Baron Blackjack with the, uh... The, uh, references and stuff. Just, uh, chill, okay? Just chill with the hate talk, okay? Just chill. Even if it's a joke. Hey, Clock, legit question. What do you think of the Nemlay situation? Uh, I think it's really sad. I never got my stretch. You have the stretch in two. Um, what do you think about the Nemlay situation? Uh, it's, it's really sad that they had to go offline. That they had to go offline. They're still going to make the games, by the way. I, I, it doesn't matter. It won't affect the games. I think it sucks that they took down their itch. Because I guess, unless they plan to uh, bring it back through the publisher and re-upload all their games, you're probably going to have to find the games off of other people, which is really risky. Obviously, downloading like downloading files from random strangers on the internet is not great. Um, but yeah, you're going to have to do that, basically. You're going to have to do that for the games. And it really sucks because I liked listening to Nemlay's devlogs. It was nice. I think they said they are going to do one more devlog in December at some point. I haven't read it uh, if it's out. But anyways, the game quality should be the same. So there's still some hope. It just it just <clears throat> it just sucks that 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 Nemlay will never like do anything themselves on socials, and you'll never be able to play the old games. Plus, I guess now that they're paying someone else. Uh, with them, like a partner or a friend or something for the publisher, they'll get less money themselves, so maybe games won't come out as soon either. But who knows? Uh, besides, don't you think it's more exciting to discover new things and have all sorts of experiences? Yeah, she's still gonna make games. Well, we don't. I don't think we even know if it's a she still, by the way. Like, people said that the, uh, the docs would prove that she was a girl, but then... People were saying that the docs didn't prove anything about her or them. Like, we don't know anything about them. The only thing was that they found out there was a docs that was try Like, people were trying to dox her or them. And then they just immediately, like, got rid of the possibility of being doxed. Like, that's literally what happened. I'm going to quit my job. <laughs> I'm going to quit my job. Really? Yes. I'm going to quit my job and do something I really want to do with my life. Maybe move to a different neighborhood. Or a new area, even. Will you come with me? Crow caresses the back of my hand with his thumb. Always. She didn't get doxxed. They People tried to dox them. Anyways. The end of the story is... is no, Nobody knows anything about Nemle. And they will continue to never know anything about Nemle. Tightening the grip on our hand, we take one last glance at Rory, the former Red King, before he takes off. A cerulean blue paints the sky, makes him seem it makes it seem rejuvenated. No clouds, no gray. I think the game is fine. Don't worry guys, the game is completely fine. Uh the coffin of Annie and Lele, like the dev's gonna keep working on like this didn't affect the game at all like people complaining isn't gonna affect anything they're just complaining people complain about spider-man 2 that game looks fucking amazing <laughs> just touch the just the touch of the breeze okay so i think this is the other ending but is it really the same sky if the people who look at it have changed here i will answer your questions in a second okay i'm gonna finish this what do the birds who migrate think about when flying in its currents what do they feel as the, they follow the wind that will take them to a new home? Perhaps we're not so different from animals. There will always be uncertainty in the decisions we make. There will always be a gnawing feeling of dread. But it is in those times when having someone by your side, someone you can share your true self with, will remind you of one very important thing. You are not alone. You are never alone. Okay. I think that is the happy ending, the sweet ending. Nope, no singing. Sorry, that uh, can't have that. Can I say ara ara? Yeah, there you go. Ara ara. Is that good? Gallery. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. All these great stills, endings. We got the secret, the sweet, the twisted, the Yandir. Okay. Okay, that is all endings of where winter crows go. Okay. That's it. That was a good game. Uh, I think that's most of the options too. I think there's only a few things I missed from the options, like dialogue options I could pick. Um, anyways, so YouTube, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. You're awesome. If you enjoyed it, leave a like on the video and maybe subscribe to the channel for more visual novels, horror games, and even a couple of AAA games once in a while. Um, and to everyone already subbed and watching this, thank you so much. You're awesome. Cool. Uh, you might have heard me talk, talk a lot to Twitch chat for these videos. Join on Twitch. Follow the Twitch. Link in the description below. Follow the Twitch. Go into the Discord. Get notifications when I go live. Uh, when I plan to go live. You know, all the good stuff. And you too can join in on the fun, okay? So, thanks for watching. Have a good one. And see you next time.